Look, our conversations don't make sense when you can hear every word of it. Conversations? <laughs> can I <literally> just... <laughs> That's another shot. <laughs> can I actually just say that? There you go. Yes, you did. God damn it. We have a recording, Miles. We'll be able to tell. <laughs> can test the fairy court of law? <laughs> Let's check the footage. Look, our conversations... Was that the right? Was that the right sound they used in law, right there? Yes, yes. that was the correct. Okay, nice. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been love, which is weird. I know right. I'm out of Canadian whiskey. So. It's gonna get worse the drunker he gets, too. Or it'll get better. I don't know. I can't yeah. tell my right and left better when I am slightly inebriated. All right. I'm well, I'm zero point zero four liters in. I just get better after drinking. All right. So, do you guys remember where you left off? No. Alright, no. you had just killed some dogs, and yes. were very sad about it. And we were I remember dead. now, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, see, I know if I brought up the dead dogs thing, everyone yeah, would be like, oh. We killed, we killed animals, it was horrifying. We killed dogs, what? Yeah, you guys killed you know, some you're, dogs. You're sitting in the car in the getaway, we're breaking into that old lady's house that you're all... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lady. Yeah, she's got freaking mean dogs that we just had to kill. Okay, yeah, okay. No, I remember now, I remember now. And I drained them dry. Yep. All right. So. So now we have before us guards, locked doors, and security. Alerts, yes. Right? So I'll agree, uh, briefly run over the security situation. You've got cameras guarding the main and and, and back exits. Um, the garage door is a directly adjacent to the house. There are no cameras watching that, although you can see there is a room above the garage which has a light on in it. It seems like there's someone in there. You've already killed the dogs in the yard. Um, you've noticed uh, through the windows that there are other guards in the house. Uh, a number of them. Um, and that's pretty much it. There, oh, there's also a shed separate from the house um, which you guys did not investigate. Um, and I think like that's that. pretty much it. Like, we should have investigated. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, you did not investigate. So, we're getting, we're going in here, for what reason now? To get Elias, the art. To well, get the painting. Get the painting so, because it's by that one guy. Alright. It's by Zhu. And... Why was... Uh, and our way to, was because... This old lady was part of the mafia. What did? What was the reason Elias gave us to? Because there may be. Uh, he told Joseph that uh, there was valuable art inside, and that he would uh, arrange a deal as a fence if he wanted to break in. Oh, Basically, okay. he intimated that he un had knew that Joseph was the one who did that whole jewelry store robbery mm -hmm. where okay. he killed the almost killed those guys. And now we're gonna almost or probably kill some people in here. Yeah. <laughs> You already have killed some dogs, so. Yeah, which are better than people. So. At humanity. Already committed the greatest sin. At humanity three, still doesn't care. You can actually kill dogs before you can kill people. Oh. So yeah, that was just a warm up. In the white <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you are gonna embrace the path of Cathari in a way that is gonna be special. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Okay. Alright, so, that's what we got. So, uh, did we decide right. we were going in the uh, garage door? Well, yeah, I believe so. I have I have my lock picks. Alright, you guys are going in then? Yeah. Um, You don't need to worry, the garage door is not locked. Although, um, as you uh, start to lift it up... No, no, no. Can I hear anything on the other side before I do that? Can we check it out a little bit? Um, sure. Can Give me a perception uh, plus investigation. That will be five for me. Alright. Anyone higher? Um, no. Joseph? Um, one second. <laughs> got it, got it. Actually, no, no, it's not. I have no investigation. <laughs> right. It's five. Alright, five. We ran around the circle and we came back. You know. It's what we do. Alright, you do not find anything. 
All right, then. Let us very, very, very carefully lift it up slightly. All right. And I'm prepared to activate quietness at a moment's notice. All right, so you open up slightly, and then you feel it start to continue to rise. It has an automatic uh, door opener, and as you've started to lift it, uh, it just starts to go, and the motor is going... How loud is the motor? Um, it's like, you, there's, I mean, there's a garage door opening, too. It's fairly loud. It's not like gunshots or something, but it's... The guy above us probably is thinking, that sounds like the garage door. That's what he's thinking. In, huh. Oh, by the way, inside is a garage. There are a couple of vehicles inside, as well as some auto repair stuff, and then just other things you just kind of store in a garage, like exercise equipment, things like that. Right. At this point, I will obfuscate. All right. <laughs> and I'm not already. And I, I, I believe I was already, actually. Are your two friends also standing in front of this garage door? <laughs> well, we're in, like, the bushes. Or oh, okay, you guys are still in hiding. Yes. Yeah, I believe I was uh, obfuscated already, wasn't okay. I, last time? I, I yes. I assumed you were. Okay, just in case I wasn't, I am now. All right. I can absolutely keep it clear. All right. So let's investigate the garage a bit. All right, so you slip so inside. Go, is that way to go from the garage to, like, the house? Um, yes, you can see there is a door leading from the garage to the house. There is also a staircase which leads up, it looks like, to the uh, room above. And as you are looking around, uh, light descends down that staircase, and you can hear the end of a conversation where a man's saying, Yeah, no, it opened up, so I'm, gonna, I'm checking it out right now. Okay, I will uh, hide inside the garage somewhere. Okay. Uh, so you... Are there any good hiding places, like, under the car, maybe? Um, there's a car. Me, give me a Wits Plus stealth. That is six. Yeah, you find some pieces of shelving, and you kind of wedge yourself back there, um, where you should be pretty much unseen. You won't be bumped into. All right. All right. So the man and you guys out in the bushes also see this from the other perspective. The man comes up to the garage door, looks around, and then pulls at like the the side, like the lapel of his jacket, and starts talking into it and says, "I don't see anything." Um, but you know, check the cameras anyway. And then he turns around and he starts going back inside, and the garage door closes. All right. Now, if the rest of you want to join me in here, I can open it while using uh, Quietus. That shouldn't reach out, like outside this room, would it? Um, I think it's what thirty feet. Thirty feet, yeah. Um, it probably. I mean, it wouldn't reach outside of the garage horizontally, but directly above you, it probably would reach up into the other guy's place. Ah, damn it. Okay. Well, if you guys, if you guys want to go in here, you have to find a way you're in. I, I'm, I'm uh, apparently going solo. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. When I watch that garage. Although there's, there's no way for you to communicate that, <laughs> because. Okay. Well. Yeah, they can't tell what I'm saying. That's right. Yeah. Kind of stuck in here now. <laughs> He's looking at like, Shit. Well, like I don't know I go out again, but. Uh. This really kind of is oh. starting to remind me of that episode of Always Sunny right. in Philadelphia, okay. where right. they're stuck Looking inside at, the house. Is there a side <laughs> door out of the garage that doesn't lead to the house, but leads There is the not. So the only way in is the garage. Yep. Is there a window? Mm. Uh, there are no windows into the garage. There is a window on the room above the garage. Alright, you're on your own. <laughs> I'm just gonna look over at Joseph and show just, up. Just to check, um, when you're obfuscated, do you still show up on cameras? Yes. Not the guy looking directly at the screen while... Yes, it's only if they're gonna review a recording um, that you'll show, that they'll notice you, but you are on the recording. Okay. Unfortunate. Right, well, do you guys wanna... Well, try and find a way in here, or should I try to investigate further inside? 
Well, Whoa. Well, the, the thing is, is I can't really let you necessarily collude on that matter, since in character you can't necessarily collude on. So you're just well, gonna I have to. Shout advice to Hassan. I mean, Miles has some. I'm just saying. Shout advi- or... Please don't shout advice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant he's saying that you can't help Stallworth and I as we discuss whether or not. I mean. Or what our characters are gonna do. Let's just put it like this. So, Miles, you decide what you're gonna do first, and then we'll let them oh. talk it out. I just don't... Okay, I will wait for, like, five minutes. If I don't hear anything, I will begin investigating on my own. Okay. Now you two can discuss. Okay. So... I guess stop. <laughs> Lizia uh, is not gung-ho to, like, go in and... What, what exactly are we worried about? Okay, so what has happened is Hassan has walked into the garage and after he opened the door, and we were going to, I, Lizia assumed, I guess, in her head, that we would go in through the garage door, except that the guy was looking out the window, and then he closed the garage door. <laughs> so now you and I, Joseph, uh, don't have a way into the house, which Hassan is now in. So That's interesting. We have no mm. way to communicate. That's interesting. Is that the word you'd use? Um, we have to assume that they're somehow alerted. <laughs> yeah. uh, since the guy looked out the window and talked, they may be. They may send someone out to investigate or something. We should probably not be standing here in the bushes. Tee <laughs> 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 Um. And there's no other way to get inside. Um, is there like is there a darkened window anywhere in the house? Um, there are windows. The ones on the first floor all have burglar bars on them. I forgot to mention that. Um, in the in our recap, you could try and pull them off. Um, and then the upper floors do not have burglar bars on them. Okay. Is there a dark one of those? Does it look like there's nobody? Yeah, you could find an unoccupied. You could find unoccupied rooms on the first or uh, above ground floors. But they probably all have some sort of security. Oh. Well, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just go open the garage again? Uh, <laughs> be pretty suspicious. <laughs> Um, the guy was already alerted by the garage. <laughs> that would be the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> he comes in again and Joseph's just standing there now. <laughs> uh, I was thinking I, I could cover myself in shadows and just kill him. It's true. And then could do that. just w- walk through the house since, you know, I don't show up on cameras. That is mm-hmm. definitely uh, a point to make, yeah. Okay. In some ways, actually, Joseph is more invisible than even the obfuscated person. In, in some circumstances. Indeed. <laughs> so, what do you think about that? That's a good idea. Um, yeah, and then what do I do? Just sit here? <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like I'm kind of exposed. I mean, they're going to find me. <laughs> well, you could sneak... <laughs> I mean, you could go with them up to a certain point. Did I get a good look at that guy um, in the in the uh, in the window? <laughs> at that guy in the window, um, like what his face yeah. looked like. Yeah, you could got a I, pretty good I, look. Could I change into him? Um, you would be at a pretty high difficulty because you did see him, you know, across the yard, you know, for a very brief so amount of time I have the I at could, I can't night. But you could try a rough approximation. Can you change your voice? Yes, that is part of vicissitude. I see. Well, you might. The, we, we could open up the garage door, and then um, the dude that comes down to check, we could uh, kill him. And, like, you know, he'll probably say something to his little walkie-talkie. And... From there. I'm gonna go, it's fine, it's all fine, here. how are you? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, yeah, I get what you're saying. Much. <laughs> Not in those specific words, <laughs> necessarily. <laughs> but yes. Maybe a little more convincing than Han did it. But, um, 
Uh, yeah, I guess we could. And then, if we get rid of him, I can get a close look at him. I can vicissitude myself to be him. So, Stalwart's running around in the shadows. Hassan's all obfuscated. And I'm the security guy. There you go. Opening doors, right? Yep. Right. And you can delete the footage where... Uh... And then I could maybe delete any footage, and I can maybe get keys, and I can... By killing him, you will not be getting Silent Assassin rating. I'm just going to have to say that. But, <laughs> yes, there is nothing inherently impossible in what you're proposing. I don't like how you phrase that. <laughs> oh, it's going to go bad. I haven't started rolling down, dice yet. I'm not going to say and it's going it's gonna to work. A group of guys. Uh, there's many things that can go wrong here. Well. But, I, you know. Might as well give it a try. <laughs> that doesn't work. Guns you know, blazing. I, you know, I guess. Uh, and I'm going to rationalize this myself as this is for the Inquisition. Yeah. For the, for the you know, infernalism too. Clearly. Yeah. I don't say that to Joseph. That is just in my head how I'm going to justify that I had to kill all of these people. <laughs> or that I had to let Joseph kill all of these people. <laughs> yes, because I'm perfectly fine with it. I know. That's what I, I have no doubt. I'm so happy, happy that we turned the corner with three humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh All right. So, mm. so you guys are just gonna open up the door. So we're gonna quietly, stealthily as possible, creep ourselves over and get the door open. Okay. And then get under as quickly as we can. Get, get hidden. Door. All right. So, first off, uh, Hassan, it's been about uh, five minutes. You're kind of easing yourself out of the, um, behind the shelving, um, when you start to hear <laughs> as the motor. And back in I go. <laughs> and I question what my party members are doing. <laughs> All right, first off, you guys give me dexterity plus stealth rolls. Um. Five. Five. All right, so um, you do see uh, the two of them on the other side, and they kind of both duck in really quickly, and, like, you see them, Hassan, like, trying to find cover. Um, Lysia is more successful than Joseph is from your position, but... <laughs> um, and, yeah, and they're kind of just sort of looking around, appraising the situation. What you guys see is it's basically the same as what I described Hassan. Um, and as you're kind of looking around, you do see the same stream of light come down, uh, the stairs. And you guys hear in conversation, uh, yeah, I don't know, there's, someone's doing something or this motor's just fucked. But either way, uh, I'm gonna shut it off. So he's going around and he again is going up to the garage door after looking around the, uh, as, as he's looking around the, the garage. I, uh, I'll look at, uh, Lesia and, you know, try to have some mutual eye contact to see if she got the voice, like, can she copy that? Yes, I, I, I yes. I, I think I can. Okay, well, I'll use my, uh, up abrasion, try to hide my presence. All right. Sneak up on him and break his neck. All right, give me a manipulation plus a cult. That is six. Can I tell he's going to do this like if from the stink eye? Um, so... Because he can't he see me, I can't cannot go. See. <laughs> no, you're just, feel, just feel an ominous presence somewhere. <laughs> watching this. I want to see a time lapse of the song behind this shelf as this happens. The They start fighting. The police arrive. You guys are carted out in handcuffs. And the song and is... I'm, and I'm still sitting there. here. Uh, Alright. Actually, 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 hold up. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Maybe I, I do not want. Sleep. You should not try to just kill this guy because he needs to make your support, so people are going to get suspicious. Well, that's why he wants Lazia to imitate his voice. Yeah, but can you, you also know who he has to make reports to? Well, he just hits a little thing on his walkie-talkie. I mean, that's what I... So, the plan was... <laughs> I hope he does not change the channel on the walkie-talkie is the plan. Because that, they've got a frequency that they're yeah. broadcasting on. They're not going to keep changing it around. That would be ridiculous, because then he would lose communication with the people who forgot to change the frequency or whatever you keep the same. It's a good idea is to always be changing the frequency on a set timetable that only the guard knows. That way, if someone tries to do this, they couldn't. Well, there'd be, there'd be a chance of them not being able to. I'm just suggesting it for Steven. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but still, I'm thinking this guy has just talked on his radio. He's yeah. coming down, he's done the thing, yeah. and then he's going to be like, yeah, it's all fine here. Yeah. They're not going to have changed the frequency <laughs> within those two spans of time. It seems like it. <laughs> anyway. So. Alright, so kill him and incapacitate him. Well, I would suggest incapacitate. But we, you need to let him <laughs> out. He can't, he can't cry out. So no All right. scuffling. Alright, well... When I sneak up behind him, I'll uh, get him in a, um, I'll get him in one of those uh, rear naked chokes. Mm -hmm. Pretty much where you you know you wrap your legs around him yeah. and you're choking him out, so he can't move or anything. All right. So give me a dexterity plus brawl to see if you can put this on him. Uh, that'll be seven. All right, so you sneak around, pulling the shadows around you to keep you hidden, come up behind him, and yeah, you put him into a choke, you pull the shadows around you to try and hide what you're doing, um, and you start trying to choke him out. So first off, what is your strength? Uh, five and two potents. Okay. At this point, I will prepare to use Quietus if he fucks it up. <laughs> if you somehow gets out of this or struggles with me, I'm going to be so surprised. <laughs> All right. It's very confident in his ability. Little did you know, this is a Methuselah vampire, and... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even consider that these people might be vampires. <laughs> That's a problem. You should consider that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I considered it. I just realized we have no other choice. You should get Auspex. What if you should get Auspex? Alright. Well, we have someone with Auspex, but he's not here. Say, uh, John did look inside. I don't, he didn't say that they were... I think I asked how many ores he see. I would have hoped. Alright. Yeah. You're able to basically keep him in position. He tries to break out, but he cannot do so. And eventually, you just completely choke him out. And now I'm going to need a self-control roll from you. Uh... <laughs> That's three. All right. See, the other thing that I don't know if uh, I mentioned specifically um, for you when I gave you the lowdown recent uh, on human low manny, but sometimes the beast will also just make decisions for you. Oh, that's what's going to happen here, and you're going to kill this guy. Um, oh, I, de I definitely didn't know that. So, uh, in this case, uh, you do manage to control yourself, so you don't have to kill him if you don't want to. Yes. I won't kill him. <laughs> Yet. Alright. <laughs> All right. All right, so the other alternate uh, version of that joke was, I won't kill him. I'm gonna take him back and vicissitude him into a woman. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Well, you know, that, that was safe for, uh, because the dude was trying to kill me, you know. Oh, I, yeah. I don't have no bad, bad blood to this dude. <laughs> All right. So, Hassan, yeah, you see this, uh, and he takes him out and basically pulls him back in. Okay. It looks like, right. it looks like a stealth takedown in a video game. Mm-hmm. All right. 
I will exit my little cover. And I will go up to them and I will ask them, what are you doing? That's also when he breaks off you, Skate. Okay. Um, so anyway, I'm starting to vicissitude all that Joseph yeah. handled this explanation. Um, I explain that, uh, that, uh, Lesia is going to vicissitude to look and sound like him. So we'll have a man on the inside. And I will start looking through his pockets for, like, you know, ID or anything like that. That can uh, better help her place, uh, I should say, him now. Place, uh, you know, what what person this guy is. All right. So give me a uh, dexterity plus body crafts. That's fine. All right, so you start altering uh, your features. Actually, I think it's intelligence plus bodycraft for level one. Is that different? Um, that is six. All right. All right, so you start altering your features, trying to get your voice right and everything. Um, and... Uh, Eventually, uh, if you've rigged yourself up to the walkie-talkie, you hear uh, on the other end someone asking, uh, you know, you see anything? And what did he say the first time? He said, no, there's nothing there? Or, like, how did he respond to them the first time? It's like cadence and whatever. Anyway, so... I'm no, really something you're, like, you're, yeah, yeah, I don't see anything. You have to decide how you present this. So that's that's what she's trying to do. So she's like, you know, no, there was nothing there. I think the motor's just bad. All right. Sound a little stuffed up there. Yeah, I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, you start, continue your alterations. And uh, what is it you guys are going to do now? Okay, so I've stripped and I've got his clothes on. All right. And he's just, we, he is just incapacitated. Um, we need to, so bound and bind and gag him, I guess, so he can't. Uh, so All right. Cry out and he's tied up and kept quiet. Yeah. Okay. So we do that. We got that. We got him hidden away there in the garage. Is there like a... Yeah. Or you could. I was just assuming you like vicissitude him into like, well, just I, like that's the binding. Was, is the vicissitude. <laughs> just like put him, put his limbs together, and then just stuff him in a closet somewhere. Yeah. All right. Yes, you're able to put him out of the way. Okay. So where do you want to go? There is his room up above, and then there is the door leading into the main house. Or there's back the way you came. Well, we should probably check out the room up above and see what's in there. If there's security, or whatever. All right. All right. So, uh, above the garage, you can see it is a sort of plush uh, loft-style apartment, um, and it looks like it was used by the guy. But it's not, like, the security... No, it is not the security office. Okay. Um, there is, like, stuff there um, that you could look inside if you wanted to search the place, or you could just move on. Do I have any keys? Um... Or did he carry keys on him? Yes, he did have a set of keys on him. Okay. And did he have, like, an ID card, and we got... Because Joseph searched him for me. I, I yeah. need to know, like, what I'm... Is there, like... He's got his wallet, and... Well... Actually, if he... Yeah, I'm going to need a perception plus investigation to uh, see if you can find that stuff. Oh. Um, perception plus investigation. Uh, yeah, you can find his, his keys and his oh. ID and everything. All right. I was thinking he probably wouldn't have them on him, uh, but they're nearby in, like, a okay. basket. 
So yeah, yeah the front so door. I'll figure out what his name is. All right. And um, and now I've got keys to the place. Um, is there anything helpful about how the house is set up? Do we know the layout? Do we know where the art is? Um, you do not see anything like that. So any like maps. A key, a, a label on one of the keys that says art room. Nope, the keys are unlabeled. If you want to continue searching, you can give me a perception plus investigation. So, I guess anything else of note? Mine is still full. Um, yeah, someone else give me it. Nobody else wants to investigate <laughs> this guy's room to get as much information Two. as we can. I, well, I assume this is taking place during your investigation, which is why I asked for... I mean, you could do it afterwards if you wanted to do that as well. I was going to say, mine's four. That yeah. I gave you mine, and then you were like... Does well, I'm not sure you? if you want... I'm not sure if you think that time is a consideration as you're searching here, so I was going to say someone else, because they could search it at the same right. time. That's as what I was, so, Stalwart just said he had two. I know Hassan has, like, yeah. five, because he did his whatever. Thing. Yeah. It's so, perception right. investigation, right? Yeah. Yeah, mine's five. All right. All right. Um... So, looking around, you do not find any diaries or notebooks, um, although you do find, um, like, a large store of ammunition. Hmm. But that's the only thing, like, a value that you find. Well, I don't carry a gun. Well, take it. Alright. So, it is, uh... It seems it's to be Action Express ammo, uh, like 50 caliber for a Desert Eagle. And you did find a, a gun of that sort on the uh, the guy's so person as well. Yeah, you, so you do stuff. have it. Okay. Alright, so obviously that's ammunition for my gun, I guess. So. Yep. A couple of boxes in my pockets, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. And, uh, just like two, right? Alright, so, uh, and Joseph, you come up with a bale of 30 grams of weed. Okay. Nice, mission accomplished, boys. Let's yeah. head out. Look <laughs> at what we came for. Okay. Uh, I'll make sure to pocket that weed. Uh, <laughs> you better. Does everyone see me get this weed? Um... Yeah, you gotta keep it to yourself. You're vampires, you don't even smoke. <laughs> you, you notice. Oh, but Hassan has that pet. You could get yeah. him to smoke and then feed off. Yes, exactly. Yes, is what I can also sell it. Is that what Miss Lemon Abigail's become now? She's just like a, a functional bong. Madison, uh, I have got <laughs> some great news. <laughs> it's yeah. Abigail, excuse me. Well, I was uh, talking t about a uh, Star Wars girlfriend. Oh, sorry, sorry. You would just be like, <laughs> come here, smoke this. I have a gift for you. <laughs> All and right. for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Hassan, yes, you do notice him grab the weed. What have you found, brother? <laughs> All right. So here's the thing: we make the human into a bong, Hassan. And <laughs> <laughs> are you uh, gonna respond to that, Joseph? Or uh, you said they did see me. Yeah, Hassan came up and said what you have there. Oh, uh, um, I found some, uh, marijuana. I see. That is quite valuable. Good find. Yes, a good find. For the... See, it's, it's cultural for Hassan, though, because he is mm -hmm. an assassin, which is, of course, derived from hashish, which they would smoke. Yeah, the food. <laughs> Hassan is actually a huge weed smoker and you just haven't known this whole time. That's actually a fake etymology. Mm. Yeah, but, you know, it's 
cool. It worked in this instance. And in the dark world is canon, though. Yeah. yeah. World of Darkness, absolutely. World of Darkness, sorry. Actually, the Asimites are the weed-smoking clan. They made special ghoul weed so that they could smoke it. Really? Yeah. There's That's a... pretty cool. Only the magicians of the clan do it, though, so... But uh, what we were saying about Abraham smoking weed is actually canon. <laughs> nice. Stephen needs to cool ice. That'd be cool. They actually say it's specifically a very like well kept secret of the Asimites, and they'd kill anyone who finds out about it. Well, because I cool ice plants though. Yeah. All right. So. So I'm sure other Tremere have come up with the idea. Of Alright, so you guys all meet up with your various finds. Okay. Where to now? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea where <laughs> all right. lady would keep her art. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at Hassan and, and Joseph here. Shall we begin investigating then? Alright, you guys are heading into the house? Yeah, I'm re-obfuscating. All right. So the door. Would you, would you suggest taking the door first, or shall we head upstairs? You already went upstairs. Where that is... that was the apartment you guys searched. Oh, sorry, my bad. I missed that. The rest of the house. So, anyway, so is the door locked? The door is locked. Okay, so I will use the keys. Just keep trying them. Yeah. All right. So you stay there for a while. And eventually, the door opens up. So I find the key. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to note that key and this door. Alright. <laughs> Take off the ring and just tape it on the door. <laughs> One of us should probably go find this, uh, this dude that's at the cameras and, uh, take care of him. Yeah, we're looking out for cameras the entire way, just so we don't get spotted on those. Okay. Um, so, well, before we go any farther, just give me a, uh, perception plus alertness. Whoever's going Mine first. is six. Two, but I also don't show up on camera. So you don't, just don't care. Right. Yeah, I'm strolling through this house like I own it. Yeah, it's only the person, uh, in front that really matters. Um, and since I'm leading the way because I look like a well and that's the thing is are you leading the be who is leading the way because he just doesn't show up on cameras me. at all Hassan is just invisible but not on cameras and then you are completely visible but you also look like someone who ought to be there you each have very confusing disguises against specific okay. things so what is the marching order well, we need some sort of way to signal, like, if there's a room I should... So I'm trying to follow. Is Hassan going to break obfuscate if he, like, tugs on my jacket so that I know to turn left or whatever? Um, I, I do think that kind of goes against what you can do, yeah. So yeah, so I don't know how to communicate where to go other than me walking in front since I'm visible. Yeah. And just systematically going to each of the doors. Uh, I'll say, and when I do, I'll be like, I'll try the door and if I can, you know, open it up, look in, they can go in, or I'll just be like walking on my rounds or something, like checking rooms All right. is the sort of thing. And you... how I'm going to play it for the cameras, um, but if I can get, you know, okay, these guys in to do their investigating, find out what I want to see. I guess, what am I looking for? If it's a bedroom, probably leave it alone. If it's the security office or the art room. So, anyway. All right. That's where I'm going. That's the so you're point. in front. <laughs> so I'm in front. Okay. <laughs> all of that. Are you sure you don't want me to be in front? Um, if you want to, but you're still gonna have to. I mean, if you want me to be in the middle, one of you to go in front, one of you to come behind. I'm still the one opening the door so we can see what's inside. So. All right. Yep. Yeah, sure. Go ahead then. 
All right. I will follow your lead. So yours was four. All right, you're on the lookout for cameras. Um, so beyond the uh, door that you just opened up is a utility room. Um, it is, um, you don't see any cameras in here. Um, and it seems to be dark, like it, like no one's inside. Um, and there's just a, it's a pretty big sized utility room because there's, there's washer, dryer, there's the water heater, there's a generator, there's an internet router, there's like everything. Is there a door on the other side? Yes, there is. Yeah, after a little bit of searching, you find the light. Okay. Take a look around, just the utility room. Yep. Alright. No cameras in here. But it'll be easier for... Uh, Joseph if the lights are off, so maybe I'll flip them back off again. And now that I... Is it a straight shot to the other? Do I have to... Yes, it is just a... Do I have to go around obstacles? No, you just... It's straightforward. The All of the utility stuff, fuse box, water heater, all that is on either side of you. Okay. All right. Well, there is a fuse box down here. I don't know if that can be worked into a plan of some sort. It's certainly important to remember. You could do something with it. Maybe plan for an escape. Or, because that's going to take out alarm system and... Although they're already suspicious about the garage door, so we probably shut the lights off then. But it might be a way to draw the, all the guards down here. I don't know. That would also be good. What do you want to do? I don't know. As you guys are sitting down there, you do start to hear, like, a hissing sound. And, um, you realize that it's coming from the water heater. It seems like someone is using it, and it's, like, heating up more water. So someone's taking a shower? Seems that way. Somewhere so, in the house. So it's a, uh, it's a gas water It is a gas water heater. Yeah, it seems like Ooh. the generator and the, uh, Explosions. water heater is... <laughs> Explosions indeed. We think alike. Yes. I will go investigate this person taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> just we we go to like start a plan as soon as we figure it out, you just run off. We don't even see. <laughs> There's a naked oh. person somewhere in the house. There's a just fifty turn, chance of being female, around. I guess. I guess. <laughs> we turn <laughs> around and you're just gone. <laughs> What, what if it's the old man? Oh my god. Uh, that'd be terrible. But I could just dominate him. All right, what if okay. it's uh, the old lady and an old man having a sex? Yeah, in the shower. In the shower. That's right. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so... Most of the people you see here are guards, actually. These odds are getting are low. I know, I was gonna say, there's not a lot of women around. I just assumed she had a daughter that was hot. <laughs> So I'll probably discuss this with the rest of the team first. <laughs> <laughs> that was his initial thought. Naked woman. It's like, no, he's instantly switched into like movie mode where it's like, if there's someone having a shower, it must be someone hot. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't have been brought up. Exactly. That's so funny. Possibly. <laughs> Alright. So, do we want to just go through, act like I'm on rounds, getting as many doors open as we can to figure out where this painting is, or these paintings. I don't know how we're going to get them out of the mm -hmm. house. We really don't have a good plan for this, guys. <sighs> All right. Should we just take out the, like, this thing entirely and just search our own? I guess if you guys want to go off on your own... I mean, uh, that's the... Uh, yes, because I'm saying yes, we should go search. I have the keys to each of the rooms. I can unlock them. Mm-hmm. So if you want to follow behind me, and then once we get the art, figure out how do you get it from the house, I guess. 
because I don't know how we're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but if there's no other plan, do we want to just go start on? Should we just try? Should we just try searching first normally? All right, you can do that. Like we know this place is here, so we can almost go back here. Right. What are we searching normally? I'm very confused. Just walk around. Look at the look at things. Right. I look like the security guard. Yeah. So let's so do I that. Can walk around. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Miles is explaining around, your plan to loot to you like you're dumb. <laughs> so you can look in them. And then you're like, okay, so we agree with that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so apparently Miles and I are talking about the exact same yes. thing. Yes. So you can do that. Yes. Yeah, Is that what you're yeah, doing? Just... <laughs> we could also search normally. Yeah, we could. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when people start drinking and smoking <laughs> in the middle of these <laughs> sessions. <laughs> like, Speaking of time for a shot. <laughs> yeah. Time for a shot. Or we could do it normally. <laughs> All right. no, it's, I, I, I'm missing the thing, but you were saying I thought your plan right now was to blow up the um, no, <laughs> the no, glass thing. Just because I said explosions once. Well, because I suggested that and I thought I heard positive reinforcement. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Let's do this, like man. Just because said gas and then I said explosions. And then, and then Miles is like, we're blowing yeah, it up. Yeah, so that's David's fault. We're blowing it up. <laughs> Wait, maybe we shouldn't blow it up right now. All right. Okay, so you let's, guys... Let's search. Let's search. Leave the utility room, guys. There we go. <laughs> We're out of the utility room. My God. Um, We're there for an hour. So most of the interior doors are just open. I, I do like that your mind immediately went to, like, Resident Evil, where every interior room in this He's mansion locked. will yeah, also yeah, be I will, locked. I will try it first, too. Uh... But that's insane, and they're all unlocked. Okay. Yeah, I didn't assume it was a resident. <laughs> I would have to get the right key. Everything is still locked. All right. So, um, I would have loved if, if when Lisa unlocked the utility room, that key just disappeared. Yes, it doesn't seem like this key is useful anymore. <laughs> Discard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you come out into a sitting room. So it's outfitted uh, as a home theater. There is uh, some electronics there. That's mostly what you see of value. There's no impressive art that you can see. Um, and there's no one inside here either. Okay. Are there cameras? Uh, there are no cameras. Okay. All right. So, so where are the exits from there this? is one exit, uh, again, on the other side of the room directly in front of you. Okay. So with my best relaxed saunter. Okay. I will Open it up. Continue down the door. Right. Yes. This hallway is lit. Um, on one end are double doors. And then to your left, which is where the double doors are, you can also see there is a single door. Um, and then uh, to your right, um, along the right wall, there are, is uh, two, or no, there is one more single door. And then at the end of the hall, that end of the hallway, there is another set of double doors. Um, you can also see that this room is watched by cameras. Yeah, there is a yeah. single door and a double door on both sides. Oh, so like double so it's door, like, single door. Yeah, double, double door, single, single door, door, where you are, single door, double okay. door. It's kind of like mirrored. So it's double, single, and then double, yeah. single. Okay. Hmm. Um, do the doors have any sort of window in them that I can get in? No, place? they are solid wooden doors. Well, I, I don't want to pause too long, so I, you know, like assess as soon as I can, and I will turn to the uh, single door here on my left. and it's Single door to the left. All right. So, um, 
who is going to follow after her. Now, uh, Joseph just doesn't show up on cameras entirely, not in the recordings. He can't be seen just in the footage. Um, Hassan, you can't be seen actually by the guy watching the monitors, but you do appear in the recording. So, who is following Lysia? I don't think I should be when the recordings are still up. We would have to take care of that before I can follow. But it's only if they go back and check the recording. That Which they probably will if they figure out something is wrong. Yeah. And considering something is going to be stolen and they've already had a guy knocked out. They haven't found and are suspicious. Yet. They haven't found him, but you you know they are probably going to, unless we bring him with us. So, all right. Uh, so I, you know, that's fine. Uh, well, you, you can't, not, you can't like, tell that I'm not following you anymore. Yeah, I can't tell, and I'm just I'm gonna go through right. each. Uh, well, you can I see, see the camera, and I stop. You can see Joseph just walking behind you, like, all right. Okay. <laughs> so uh, anyway. So yeah, but I'm not going to turn and look at anybody. I'm not noticing yeah. them because I don't want to do it. So I just so I open the yeah. door and I take a look inside. All right. So um find out where this is. All right. So this leads into the kitchen. Uh this room is lit and you can see that it's a big kitchen. Um, and there is also a guy sitting on a chair. He's watching um, something on his phone, but he's just sit there in front of a chair um, in front of what looks to be an exterior door. It looks like the back door. Okay. Um, and there are also uh, doors, um, one of which looks like it leads into a pantry. It's like a big pantry door. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other ones, there is a set of double doors leading somewhere. And this guy, does this guy acknowledge me when I come in? Um, so yeah, he kind of looks back at you and asks, you know, what's up? Hungry. And I will head over to what I think is the pantry and uh, see if I can get a bag of crisps or something. All right. So you open up the pantry and you can see that this is like a big basement pantry. There are like door, there are stairs leading down um, into like a basement level. And as you're kind of walking down, you can see there's also, there's a bit like a wine cellar down here as well. All right, well, we're going to, um, I don't know if I can grab one. Is there like fruit? And as you're walking down, you also remember there was like a refrigerator in the guy's... Well, I was thinking it was shelves. I didn't want to... I wanted to get apartment. Chips. Well, it, you know, <laughs> you assumed. <laughs> and as you're kind of walking down... That's okay. just the okay. things you notice. Is there a basket of fruit or something down there? Like a basket of apples or like anything? <laughs> Let me give you a luck roll. Okay. You want odds or evens? Do odds. Yeah, you find a uh, a basket of apples down there. Okay, so I grab I grab one of those and, uh, or a couple. So, Joseph, uh, you can see that there is a guy inside here, so uh, obviously Lysia just has to keep going to preserve her cover, but what do you want to do? Um, <clears throat> what would be the best thing to do in this situation? Um, is the door still open? You might want to back on. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be coming back out the door. I don't want to like run into Joseph. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just back on out then. All right. So, you come up, and uh, the guy is kind of looking at you as you like up and close uh, the big pantry door, and he just kind of shrugs and goes back to what he was doing. Okay, and I just jog on out and you know pretend like I'm gonna keep my apple. All right, so yeah, you get out of that room. All righty. Um, now I'm out in the hallway, so I'm going to sit there and I'm going to, <laughs> as, I'm, as I'm 
you know, this apple's really good, thinking what I want to do, and then um, uh, I'll go over and I'll check the knobs on the on the double doors across the. Uh... Uh, yes, they open. Oh, okay. Let's take a quick little look inside. Oh. What is it? Uh, it is the main entrance, the foyer of the house. Um, there are a pair of, like, twin staircases coming around, leading up to the second floor. Um, there is a man in a very similar situation to the guy in the kitchen, just kind of sitting there, uh, by the front door. And, um, there are also... Double doors leading off on one side. Um, looks like into the same room that was between... It's a room probably between the uh, dining room and the the foyer. And then... There seem to be... There's like an actual security door. Like a definitely different from the other doors of the house. Like a security door set up. So that's probably where the key Off is. to one side. Um, and then beside that, it's an open hallway. You can see inside, it's oh, just a bathroom. It's also here. Okay. So, stairs, security door, double doors. And front entrance. Alright, so I there's the security door. I'm going to assume that's where the cameras are. Um, and I'm just going to hope that Joseph... Or Hassan, I don't know if they're following me. I'm just gonna come into the room and be like, you know, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> okay. Trying to make small talk to give you guys a, a, a possibility to get in here. Well, here's the thing: is all right. So how do you want? There is a guard in the foyer that's watching the front door of the house too. Mm -hmm. um, you can see the foyer does also have security cameras in it. Um, and then you can see the security door. So, who are you talking to? Alright, so... Because the human guard obviously can see... Joseph. Oh, because he's not... Hiding. He's not... I mean, he can hide himself, but in a well-lit foyer... There's... He's not gonna be able to... Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm just, oh, I, oh my god, I don't know what to do. I was going to say, I'm going to assume that the cameras are behind the security door. Mm hmm That's just going to be my assumption. There's probably a guard in there looking at the cameras. I don't know. Maybe there's not a guard. Mm hmm So, I mean, I could go with some sort of, you know, like, hey, I checked out that motor, blah, 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 mm -hmm. whatever, get into the room. I don't know if I can incapacitate the guy. That's why I kind of wanted Hassan or um, um, Joseph there. Mm -hmm. So once we get in the room, do the incapacitating. Mm -hmm. But I have no way to communicate this to anybody. So what are you going to do? So I don't know what I'm going to do. Does the guy challenge me when I Come in. He doesn't say anything to you. He just... Uh, he kind of nods to you. Kind of nods. I, do I just nod and pull back? I mean, we have to go through there eventually. That may be where the art room is. Yeah. So do you go forward or do you stay where you are? All right. Uh, I am just going to go forward and, uh, you know, give the guy a nod back and, and act like I have business okay. elsewhere in this house. So, which, where do you go to? Um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to turn to the right. And if there's stairs there, I'm going to go up the stairs. But whatever I, whatever pathway I can see, I am going to walk it with confidence. All right, so you start going up the stairs. Yeah. And you're now on the second floor, which has a set of double doors leading forward. All right, I am opening those doors and just walking on through. I okay. have no idea if anybody's following me. I want to, what I appreciate about this is we have so split the party mm -hmm. that Jean is in a car outside. Hassan, you're in the sitting room still before the cameras. Uh, Joseph, 
I haven't checked with you yet, but you're in the hallway. Um, you see Lysia go forward, talk to a guy. You Confidently. hear that. Confidently so there is a human in there, and then Forget. just keep going. So what do you want to do? Um, to be honest, I, I really don't know. Um, <laughs> you can just hold out there if you want to. I feel like that'd be a little, a little dangerous. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if we, we might have a guard walking around. It's true. I don't know. I, I feel like I should... I, should, I don't want to find a place to hide because... All right, well, you can duck back into the sitting room with Hassan. Um, there are also other rooms that you guys haven't checked out at all on this floor as well that you could go to. Just going to okay. kick back with a drink while waiting for the see you to finish off. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not going to try to do anything too out there. I'm just going to try to find a nice place to hide and wait for her to come back. Have yeah, fun with you, I guess. <laughs> so uh, are you going to hide with Hassan or are you going to find another spot? Uh, is hiding with Hassan somewhere I can use my up uh, up tenebration to uh, cover myself. Um, you could do that if you wanted to. You could also just turn out the lights. All right, I'll do that. All right. So Hassan, you see uh Joseph sneak back into your room <laughs> and then flip off the lights. Then just, curious. <laughs> then just sit in the Quite corner. curious. I, I, I kind of expected he would follow and guard Lysia. In character, I mean. Out of character, I know he wasn't going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So, uh, we have to wait for Mary to come back now. Um... So I'm going to cut this out of the recording, obviously. Nice. Sounds like a perfect time for the sip. Jean, meanwhile, is still just sitting out in the car. <laughs> I'll be back for the record, Scotch second. whiskey is not great. All right. At least this one isn't. So, you head forward up the stairs. And you are in a hallway which has another series of doors leading off in various rooms. Um. Alright. Alright. There is... Uh, oh, okay, so the hallway goes off in front of you. There's also a door you could go to to the left or to the right. Left, right, or center? Are there cameras? Um, you can see cameras in the hallway that goes off in front of you. Okay. So I am being monitored. Alright, so do I just have two... Um, so there's a hallway, does it like turn? Or yeah, the hallway in? goes off and turns and there are doors there. Okay. Are there any doors? Yeah, directly so, uh, they go down in the foyer... There's a balcony that leads around to doors on your left and right. Um, does any do the doors look any different? From nope, the they look the same. No, wait. Um, that's a drink. No, the one on the right uh, is a security door. I see. So I'll take the one on the left. Okay. Still acting like I know where I'm going. Okay. So you're going to the left. All right, you head into a library. It looks like there's no one inside here, but the walls are just covered in bookshelves. Hmm. Um, and you also see a, uh, an old record player, which is kept over there, and you see there's, like, vinyl spread out all around it. Oh. Okay. There's no artwork in here. 
No, none that you can see. Um, and there is another door down at the end, um, that leads somewhere else. Somewhere else. All right. Well, maybe I'm getting close. I don't know. Or you're just getting further away. <laughs> getting further away. So when you said it was a security door. Did you mean it was a more secured door, or that? I mean that it's door, metal. It's, it's got a big lock on it. It it's not like a wooden like artistic door like you would see in a house. It's clearly like where the security yes. guards are. Okay, I just wanted to make because that's what I assumed. Then. I to make sure it was. So I'm still I'm assuming she's got an art gallery in this place. Mm -hmm. That's my thought process. So we're in a library. That's very cultural. An art gallery is also very cultural. I'm going to hope that down here at the... I will, as I walk by, uh, veer over to, you know, finger the vinyl like I'm, I'm, I'm in an artistic mood. <laughs> Back in the security there, and they're like, what the fuck is what Todd fuck is doing? Yeah. <laughs> Johnson, Johnson, what are you doing? Now? This guy... <laughs> I don't know about this guy. Is anyway. he high as fuck? Well, he has 30 grams of weed in his room, so... <laughs> Alright. So, you head out into uh, the hall that you saw before. It loops around in an L shape. Hmm. Alright. Um, and so there are uh, a number of doors in this hall. There are three doors on this hallway that you've seen so far, um, besides the one that you've just come out of. And um, as you're kind of walking along, you hear sounds coming from one of them. What kind of sounds? Talking or dragging dead body? Oh, my bad. Everyone take another drink. Uh, there are four doors. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I hear sounds coming from one of them. Yes. Is it conversation sounds? Um, no, it sounds... You're not sure what it sounds like. It's I'm like a whiskey. Um, it's like a moaning sound. A moaning sound? Yeah. Like a werewolf moaning sound or a hurt human moaning sound? It sounds human to you. Okay, do I want to go and open that door just to see what it is? <laughs> What's going on? What's all this then? Hmm. No, I am here to get that damn art and get out of here. So, don't go to the room with the noise in it. Unless maybe he's masturbating to one of the paintings. I don't know. <laughs> Is it happy human sound or? It's difficult to tell. It could be. But it's not a lamenting human sound. It doesn't sound lamenting, no. And all of these doors look the same. Yes, no pretty much. Big ornate door that says art gallery. No, nothing like that. So, so, and the door to the library was more decorated than the other. Not really no. particularly decorated, no. Oh, okay. They all look decorated except for the security doors. That's what makes them stand out. Okay. Well, if I can just nonchalantly, like, just like I'm checking rooms like I'm on uh, watch, I'll just start with the first door, and if I open it and then there's somebody inside or, you know, uh, or it's a hallway that leads off to somewhere mm -hmm. else, I will stride purposely okay. forward. Okay. So you open up uh, the first door, and it is a dark room, which looks like a bedroom. I'll just simply close it again. Okay. Right. The next door is the one that the moaning is coming out of. Oh, I don't do that one. I'll do the one. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Hey! Because I'm going to assume, okay, Close the door. probably bedrooms yeah. and there's sex going on in there. That is definitely okay. something that could be what it sounds like. 
<laughs> You're not going to just poke your head in that room. So now Johnson's going to be the pervert because he's hanging around outside the door that the sex is going on, uh, pretending to be on rounds <laughs> while eating an apple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you do look this like the most... <laughs> You do look like the most suspicious man in the world, but you don't seem like a thief because you're not going towards anything valuable. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just, so now Jones is a pervert. So uh, right. that's fine. Lizzie doesn't care. So you move on past that, um, and there is, uh, the next door is another bedroom. This one looks much nicer than the last one, which was kind of filled with, like, spare um, stuff. You know what guest rooms look like. Yeah. Um, you just leave shit in them. Uh, but this one actually looks like it's used by a permanent resident. Hmm. But it's not my art. Is there any art on the wall? Um, there is some art inside, yeah. Like some little pieces of statuary, like some paintings on the wall. Oh. It's dark and you'd have to go actually inside to see I if really it's... I think I could be walking into other people's bedrooms. Yeah. I think that's gonna be that. From, like, this distance, you can't tell if it's art art or if it's Sears art. Alright, but anyway, just <laughs> Alright. And then you definitely hear voices coming from the next room. Like, this is not mistaking, like, there's laughing and joking sounds. Um, it's a bunch of men. I should probably avoid people, so... Yeah. And then after that, you're back out in the second floor balcony of the foyer. Alright. Well, that gave me nothing, so... There's only a couple rooms up there, but they, they all look like bedrooms. So. It would not be surprising for you to, I mean, based on what you know of houses, this could be where the, the bedroom searches are. Alright, so I'll just walk back down the stairs. Alright. Regroup with the others in the sitting room? And yeah, and head back out like I'm going back out to my room. Alright. So, you back in the sitting room. I say nothing because it'll break my office gate. But there's no cameras in here, right? No. No, but what if someone walks in, though? They're gonna oh. see Joseph! I was gonna say, they're gonna <laughs> Yeah, but they wouldn't see me. Ah. <laughs> 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 that's fine. But anyway, so Joseph's th there. I see that yes. Joseph is there, and I'm like, okay, so you were you, Hassan, were you with me at all? Did I lose you? Anyway. Um, you worry about yourself when I break off your skate. <laughs> so, hmm. So anyway, I made it upstairs. That is apparently the living quarters. Um. I found the library, but I didn't find any any art. So, was there another way? Um, I mean, there were the two doors at the end of the hallway outside of the sitting room, right? Um, yes. You have not explored, um, one half of the first floor. Okay. And I've only explored how much of the second floor? I mean, from what you could see, it's... Unless there would be a separate second floor, but that doesn't seem likely. Alright, so... Okay. So should we go explore that, then? So I'm, I'm gonna think it's down here at the end of the hallway. Because I didn't see any art anywhere else. Alright. So you're gonna pass the single door, and you're gonna go straight to the double doors? Single door was the kitchen. Double door. That's on the, the one side. Then on the other side, it was mirrored. So there's another single door and another set of double right. doors on the other end. But I was. Doing, so what have I done? So I came out of the sitting room. Yeah, you went and then you went left, where there was a single door and a double door, into the kitchen and into the oh, foyer. You're saying, so I to the, the right, door, and then there I is went down. Yes. To the double door, still on the left. Yes. I was thinking I had went like directly across from. That doesn't really make sense that you would go one way and then come back and then go all the other way. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, so then I'll do the right side of the okay. for, for the double doors. That's maybe a gallery thing. Okay. You open them up and you can see that it is a solarium. There's big uh, windowed walls um, which would let in the sun during the morning. It's um, a terrifying room. <laughs> It's a, sort of set out, you know, you could have tea there or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, well. Is there a suggestion for our next action? I, if you're with, uh, I guess, 
Well, yeah. there are do there are cameras in the hallway, so you're kind of still stuck in the sitting room, uh, Hassan, unless you're. So I will tell. I guess. No, I'm still sitting there. Cameras. Okay. You know, I do know where the possibly the cameras are. I mean, the, the yes. The this is not the kind of stuff eventually I was expecting. You gotta be honest. <laughs> still waiting or sitting around in the living room while let's see how this all works. Well, the I work. haven't even heard from David. David's probably not even with us anymore because he's just out in the car. Well, at least Steve Glenn and got dinner. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm all set this is a, now. This is a riveting gameplay so far. I just really feel like anyway. Sorry. Um. So I, you know, I know I'm watching, but we're kind of desperate now. And uh, if it's not behind that one last single door, I, I have no idea what to do. So you're gonna check that one? Mm-hmm. Okay. You have it was right next to the sitting room, and you searched every single bit of this house. Well, no, no, wait. <laughs> I, in my mind. Mm -hmm. I had a single door and a double door opposite each other. I had a double door and a single door opposite each other down at the hall. So when I went into the first single door, and it was the kitchen, mm -hmm. when I closed the door, I thought I was going uh, just directly across the hall to those double doors. But you said, no, I wandered down the hall. And no, you didn't. Again. You didn't. That's what I'm saying is the door you went through, those double doors, was the one nearest to you as you came out of the kitchen. That I just went into now. No. Okay. You went left and you stayed left that whole time, I assumed. I'm so confused. <laughs> let me draw you a picture. I was going to say, let me draw you what I thought happened. Alright, so you are in the middle. Alright, so here's the hallway, right? Mm -hmm. Middle door. You came out of this. Then you came down to the kitchen by turning left. You went through the single door. This is riveting gameplay for people watching yes. this. Right? Yeah, for us too. Mm -hmm. So here, you see this? Hallway, single door. See, I don't think we have the same. So this is where mm -hmm, I was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's if me. I see. Okay. Yes, yes. Single door, double door. Yeah. Single Soka, door, double Soka. door. No. That's I said, so that's not. you came in here, it was near on either side. There's a single door and a double door to oh, your left. Oh, it's down further! There's a single door and a double oh, door no. to your right. Wakata. I can't opposite. <laughs> no. Alright, now that makes more so, sense. Yes, so, yes, this was the art room the whole time. Okay. <laughs> now I understand everything. I didn't, I didn't Mary understands they were, it. They were Okay, oh, that's man. important. Just don't want to bring you all the money. Had I known that, no, Lizzie would have not done what she did. <laughs> Alright. It would have been the first door I opened. Alright. So, you open it up, and inside there's an art gallery. Uh, there are paintings on the walls with the little spotlights on them, um, and you can see this room is uh, watched by cameras. Alright, well, I'm going to wander around. Mm-hmm. And uh, pretend to be looking at the art. Yeah. While I'm looking for... <laughs> Johnson's a weird uh, I'm going to assume the, the paintings are wired into some sort of alarm system. Should I lift one up and just carry it out? It's not a bad guess. Yeah. So I'll just, I'll just kind of, you know... Um, hmm. Alright. And a camera would see you also pick it up off. Yeah, there. yeah. So there's cameras there. How many cameras? So I'm gonna... The room is covered in cameras. Covered in cameras. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is where the valuable art is, so... So there's not, like, just one or two. No. Do they all... Are they corded cameras, or are they wireless cameras? Um, they look like they are, uh, cordless. I left the door open behind me if anybody wanted to follow me in. I'm good. Joseph? I just got back, so... Are you gonna... Lysia came back around and then is now continuing to explore the first floor. Do you want to go with her? Uh, is there any benefit of staying here? Not really. Okay, then yeah, I'll go with her. Alright. Jay is just 
Joseph's in there with you. So they found you found the art gallery. Um, it's covered by cameras, but of course it's not a problem for you. Mm -hmm. And Lizzie is just walking around casually. Casually, I'm looking at the art. Identifying where the cameras are. There's a lot of them, apparently. So, just getting an idea of how it's laid out. And then, um, there's no windows in here, is there? No. Damn. All right. I have no idea how to do this. I have no idea All right. whatsoever. So... So you walk around um, and then head back out. Yeah, and then head back out and uh, and go back. I'm gonna I'm gonna head back into like the utility room out of the city. Okay. So Joseph, is there anything you want to do? You've gotten into the art gallery. This is the stuff that you were hired to steal. Everything. How are we getting it out of here? You just gonna start ripping paintings off the wall? Uh, yeah. Exactly how much <laughs> uh, stuff is it? Um, there's a bunch of stuff. All, yeah, I assume you would have taken like a big duffel bag with you since you knew you were on a heist. Um, although it would be hard to fit all of this stuff in there um, in one go. Some of the paintings are like bulky and kind of unwieldy. Got those ornate frames on them, don't they? Yeah. So. Can we find the place that controls the cameras and just shut that down? You could do that. There, so that's what I'm heading back so that I can talk to you guys. All right. And give you then we can also move, which would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and just give you the layout of what I've figured out and where kind of the guards were. And uh, so just, yeah, and the, the cameras and the thing. Yes, we're going to have to take out the cameras. All right. So, I'll just assume everyone eventually meets up back in the sitting room. Uh, what is it you guys are going to do? So, um, yeah. So, if there's a plan, I am all ears. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you heard my plan was to knock that out. That but is yeah. the extent of my plan. <laughs> Okay, so now you know where the where it is. So, uh, Hassan, you're gonna have to risk getting because uh, the human guy's not gonna see you. I know, I know. Just, I don't want to be on camera if I can avoid it. Right, but we're not. You can't. You can't not. Avoid it. <laughs> okay, so. I know. I, I have realized that now. <laughs> Fine. So we're gonna. Yeah, I, I will at least cover up my face and like as much of myself as I can with my um, cloak. All right. You know, you're wearing a turban. Yeah, you pull the turban around I'm not, your face. I'm not wearing a turban. <laughs> I've explained what I look like. I'm not wearing a turban. You look like <laughs> you look like just uh, any person you see on those uh, terrorist videos that get sent. <laughs> no. You look like you're with Osama Mary, bin Laden. I think you pronounced a Rob wrong. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sorry. Um, okay, so yeah, so it, to take out the cameras, you're going to have to walk down the hallway at least. <coughs> Fine, then. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I've covered myself up as much as I possibly can. Alright. My face is entirely concealed. Okay. But you're not a woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they can't tell, and that's the important part. That's true, they'll think it's a woman. Aha! Alright. They'll, they'll think I'm harmless. Yeah, they'll think, oh, that can't be a robber, it's a female. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you, uh, you head out into the hallway, uh, and you head for the security door? That's the plan, I believe. The one on the first floor or the one on the second floor? Hmm. Um, probably the one on the... Hmm, I don't know. I do the one on the first floor next to the guy. We're gonna have to take out the guy too. Oh, yeah. right, let's go with that then. That, let's go with that. That's what Lizia is gonna be there to like clamp down on the guy at the front desk, right? Because he's right there next to the security door. He is next to the security door. Yes. I don't even know if there's anybody in there. I don't know if there's anybody in either one. Yeah. 
Um, Yeah, I mean, oh, I wish I had all spits. <laughs> but I don't. So, all right. So I guess, yeah, so I... I so you're going to try and distract the guy while Hassan sneaks in? Yeah. Okay. That's going to be my, my plan. I don't know what I'm going to talk to this guy about. But, uh... All right. And Hassan, uh, you find that the door is locked. So I'm going to need a dexterity plus security. Let's see, that would be eight. All right. Yes, you were able to pop open the door without much difficulty and give me a manipulation plus subterfuge. Hey, what? That, that's for Mary. Me. Oh. I pointed. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't see, that was the problem. Yes, I see <laughs> the problem. I didn't see the point. So, uh, you uh, you start talking to him, get his attention. Um, Hassan pops open the door and just slips inside. Um, and inside, you find that you are uh, in what seems to be the armory. There are guns all over on the walls, and ammunition is stored there as well. Um, there is no other way out of this room. Hmm. Hmm. I could give you a complete inventory of the stuff in here if you want me to, or... Or do you just want to see, hey, there's no people, in, there's no cameras in here, and pop right back out while I'm still distracting the guy? Uh, if there's nothing I believe is important in here, I'll just head out and say... Uh, well, no, I won't say it while I'm out just <laughs> break off this gate, but... There's nothing in there! <laughs> yeah, no, but, I, but obviously I see the door pop open, yeah. whatever, and I'll just... And if he comes back out, I will wait a few seconds for him to get out of the room. Okay. I am. Then... So, uh, Hassan, give me a dexterity plus stealth. That is eight. All right. All right. Yes, yeah, so as far as you can tell, you managed to get out of the door and get obfuscated without anyone noticing you all right well uh i'll wrap it up with the guy and um all right i have no idea what happened so i'm gonna head back to my head back to the sitting room because i don't know that i got right. used to go back upstairs so you head back into the sitting room and at yeah. this point uh you hear a message on the radio like uh all right, Todd, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What's up? You just seem to be going around everywhere. Oh. Quick, <laughs> <laughs> oh. say something. Uh, well, I'm kind of panicking. I dropped my glasses. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of panicking. So I'm just like, oh, you know, I was just, I was bored. I was just wandering around. That's not a good excuse. Okay. Don't you get another... bored doing the same route all the time? Give me another uh, manipulation plus subterfuge. That's four. A weed smoker, come on. All right. Well, um, why don't you, uh, why don't you head to bed? <laughs> Do you know which way the bed is? Yeah, no, I know where my room is. That's the one above the garage. Alright. So, so. I guess I'll head back to the, uh, to the room. Alright. And, uh, Hassan, what are you doing? Well, by now I think I should go to the other room that might have the, uh... I was gonna uh... say, you're gonna have All right. to, if you wanted to just... Go on up the stairs rather That than is going to be a, another dexterity plus security to pop that one open. It's still eight. Alright. It hasn't magically gotten bigger. Yeah, I don't usually remember what your stats are. Uh -huh. Alright. 
Uh, all right. So you start struggling at this lock. And you can overhear conversation as you're doing this. Um, they're talking inside the security room. They're like, um, there's definitely something wrong uh, with Todd. So uh, increase the security, and um, I'm going to talk to uh, the old lady. Oh, maybe I can follow him then. All right. And... Uh, are you going to continue? Actually, actually, hold on. When, when he uh, opens the door, I can sneak in, can yeah. I? You can. I will do that then. All right. You hang back, and uh, the door does open, and you are able to uh, kind of slip inside. He doesn't actually close it behind him. He just starts going off down the hallway. Okay. Is anyone, Who else is in here? There is another man inside. Hmm. And is this where and the this cameras is, are being? This is a security room. There are monitors set up, watching all over the house. And you can see there is like a recording set up. You can see like the hard drives where the footage is stored. All right. Well, this guy has to go. So. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Can I sneak up behind him and just slit his throat? Yes, you can. Give me a uh, dexterity plus melee. Dexterity plus... What was that? Melee. That is... I'm a blood point, so it's nine, and I have a specialty. Alright. In surprise attacks. This counts. I believe it does, yeah. He's going to be quite surprised. Okay. And what is your strength? Uh, my strength... Uh, plus the dagger? Yeah, plus one. It, uh, it's... Free. Okay. Also, get ready to act activate Quietus if something happens, just momentarily to kill him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're able to um, basically like slit his throat. He doesn't die immediately. He does start uh, clutching at his throat, but he's not able to actually like scream out. He's just sort of making a gurgling sound. Quickly um, finish the job. All right. So give me another dexterity plus melee. That is eight now, but it's no longer a surprise attack. <laughs> no, it's definitely not. Yeah. All right, and then your strength plus one was three. Yeah. All right. So when do we get uh, to... Can I blood point on this, actually? So one more. Okay. When do we get to uh, spend our experience points? When this is over. Oh. You're not going to do it in the middle of the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take a break. We're like, I, uh... A little we braver. There, and then we just got the abilities. I'm like, when do we get the abilities? At the end of the house, that's why I said. Alright, yes. You do kill him successfully. You bring him down. Very nice. Alright. So, you're alone in the security room. Okay. For now. Let's, uh, get the hard drive and shut this entire thing off. Alright, so you start... The hard drive is what has some... All the recorded stuff so far, right? Yes. Let's get that and then shut it off. All right. Give me a perception plus alertness. Uh, six. All right. You do uh, hear, um, as you're in the process of this, you hear someone cry out, Who the hell are you? And as you turn around, you can see that the other security guard has come back into the security room, and he is currently fumbling for his gun. Okay, let's go and uh, kill him then. Alright, so I'm going to need a wits plus a dexterity from you. That is eight specialty and surprise attacks. <laughs> well, I, that's, uh... I, imagine he, I imagine he will be quite surprised. Well, so are you, though, unfortunately. Yeah. 
<laughs> We're both surprised. That's still I'm counts. surprised in attacking. <laughs> what did you say it was? Eight. All right. Specialty. Okay. It applies. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. It, it, come on, totally applies. <laughs> it's a surprise attack. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, so he actually gets to react first. He pulls out his gun and fires. So I need his... He had his... a specialty in surprise attacks as well. Oh no. Alright. So he shoots and misses completely. Oh crap, but there are no gunshots. But there was just a gunshot, yes. Right. And everyone else in the house uh, can hear this as well. Alright, so Todd hears the gunshot needs to go to uh, goes to investigate okay so first off uh let me get you guys in the initiative right now well i assume i'm next aren't i uh yeah i just want to get them oh, yeah, right. in there um so what's your uh, wits plus dexterity um Um, that's six. Okay. And Joseph? Uh, well, yeah. What's your wits plus dexterity? Oh, well, that'll be seven. Alright. And Joseph's faster His than you all. His wits are like one. His dexterity is, well, it'd have to be two. I guess his wits are two. Alright, so Hassan, you're up. Right, go over and cut him with my knife. All right, so dexterity plus melee. Just jam it into his uh, throat if I can, or chest rather. Dexterity plus melee, that is eight. And I'm buffing my strength again, so it's... I'll do that after the attack if it happens. All right. Reactively. All right, yes, you hit. Right then, in that case, my damage is five. Okay. Okay. And got my pencil. There we go. So let's see, which guard is this? This guy's dead. You look like a matrix. Uh, I have a setup here. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. I thought it might eventually come to this, so I got prepared. All right. Um, fortunately, uh, Jean, you outside, uh, don't, don't hear any gunshots. It's far, th far enough away. Um, You're still happily right. listening to I'm on a Mexican Yeah, and obviously radio. Mexican radio is turned up to the max, so. Yeah. Listening to it over and over again. All right. All right, well, anyway, so Todd is, uh, is running in the direction of the... Uh, yeah, so Joseph... Joseph again. Um, yeah, so Joseph, you move first. I'm sorry, you cut out for me for so uh, you, you move say? first. You uh, can decide you what to do. You're in the sitting room and you heard the gunshots from upstairs. And you know, um, still, still in it. Okay. Uh, I will crack the door of the sitting room. Okay. And if a guard runs by, I will quickly pull him into the room and incapacitate him and make sure to close the door all right so no one notices um you do see that you do hear the sounds of someone coming towards you from uh the kitchen which is a little ways further in That's where that guy was and i know all my companions are wouldn't be coming from that way um yeah you plus you can see this guy <laughs> well, okay. you can't see him yet. Oh, can't see him yet. I'm saying Well, he... you know Lizia went behind you. She's not even... Yeah, so okay. you don't think so. You're pretty sure not. Well, as soon as he comes by, I'm snatching him up. All right. Pulling him into the room, kicking the door closed. Not not too hard. <laughs> You're in my house now. 
gently <laughs> kick the door Choke closed. Out. All right, so give me a dexterity plus brawl. <laughs> As that the is... strangler strikes again. <laughs> that is seven. All right. Alright, so you leap out of the shadows, grab this guy by the neck, and give me a strength check. It's 5 plus 2, right? Yep. Alright. Okay. So he feebly struggles at you. But you just have him in powerful uh, grip, pulling him backwards um, and back into this room. Um, with your two potents, I'm not going to make you roll for it. You can eventually choke this guy out. Excellent. You have so... as much potence as he has strength. <laughs> <laughs> so that guy is dead. Well, incapacitated. Well, all right, that's true. Give me a self-control check. And uh, <laughs> three. Zach does not believe. You don't have to kill him, but you definitely want to. It'd be so easy and quicker, I'll point out, just to snap his neck. Lazy is not here to restrain. Well, I would, but I don't want to get the police involved. I think the police are going to be involved. Yeah. <laughs> I don't so think. A robbery, a homicide, you yeah, know, you, it's, yeah, you it's don't different know levels. that Hassan has already killed two people. So it's true. this would be the first, like, this is a possible, you know, homicide now. The dogs are dead. Yeah, it's it's a homicide animals. Have you animals. killed two people already? You, no, but you don't know that because you're still down in the sitting room. You're going to figure that out that, yes, Hassan has killed two people already. Um, oh, But you well, don't all right. know that in the sitting room while you're choking this guy. So non-lethal? Yeah, non-lethal. All right. So Once we he realizes his salon has killed someone. We are back around to the guard who is shooting at uh, Hassan. And he tries to fire again, and this time he does hit you. And you take... Uh, what is your, wait, what is your, uh, bullet soak, by the way? Uh, free. Alright, you take one point of damage. Okay. And it is your turn. Right then, let's finish the job. Alright, dex plus melee. Eight. I love that this guy's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> He's not doing great so far. That's true. He's not like that one guy that laid out uh, Ragnar in one hit. Yeah, that's not not quite on that level. Fucking sixteen points of lethal damage. What's your uh, <laughs> What's your uh, damage? Five. see here. Alright. He is still alive. Although he's looking pretty injured at this point. So, not a human. Not necessarily. Yeah. I mean, he could still be human. It does seem like he's wearing body armor. Oh, okay. Alright. And it is Lysia's turn. So I I said I'm running toward the entrance. Alright, you start running there. Um, as you come out in the floor, you see the guy at the front door is also kind of, he's perked up mm -hmm. and is looking. I mean, he can actually probably see yeah. where the fight is happening, so he's, yeah, he's pulling out his gun and heading okay. up there. So, anyway, so I'm gonna, uh, follow, are there any other coming? Are there any other coming? Um, you don't know. I mean, you know that Joseph, you saw Joseph start fighting with the other guy. There. And I didn't see, I know there's people up above from the bedroom. You do side. know they're up there, yes. Yes. So that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get um, 
Well, I'm following the guy up there to see what the hell is going on, and then I'm going to try and maneuver around to the back because I'll this is All right. people from behind if there is a. You can see, uh, yes, that it does seem like Hassan is in the middle of a knife fight with a guard. All right, so this is not good at all. So I know eventually all everybody's going to come. Possibly. Yeah, by the way, I was, uh, I'll spend the blood point to heal as well. Okay. Wait, uh, you doing that on your... Did you spend a blood point last turn? I'm saying I'll do it now. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, uh, because you're actually in a fight, you have to give me a stamina plus a survival roll to see if this happens successfully. What happens if I fail? Uh, you lose the blood point and you don't heal. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Someone look I at their wait. survival. <laughs> well, there was nothing to look at, Zach. <laughs> yeah, they looked at where their survival ought to be. Looked at what that should be. They saw nothing. <laughs> and it is Joseph's turn. Um, you're still in the process of choking out the guard, but this is where it actually, you finish him off non-lethally and it is the guard's turn again um and he is obviously screaming for help while still trying to shoot at you and he hits you well i'm somewhat impressed still gonna kill this him this is a but... worthy adversary it <laughs> this... would be an honor to kill him um it doesn't do any damage to you it just bounces it just is a grazing blow right then i will finish the job while seeing I am impressed. All right, this better be the final blow. Otherwise, it seems. Otherwise, it becomes. I am very impressed. Yeah. You performed well. <laughs> Too well. Please stop performing so well. Like, you know, cut to fire there when he's just pounding my head. There's no one before. No rest. You, have, you were performing Please. quite well. Consequently, you might say. You have earned my respect. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, what's your damage? My damage is five. All right. All right. This one might be it. Yeah, it is. All right. <laughs> you finally kill him. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Um, it is Lizia's turn. Okay, so I'm still. What is the guy in for the guy in the front desk? He's. Um, he is currently. He's pointing his gun at Hassan. At Hassan, who is now visible. Um, what are the people in the bedrooms? Are they coming out? Uh, How you haven't there? seen them. The old woman's come out like, what the fuck is going on? on. <laughs> I'm gonna kick um, some ass. Um, <laughs> is that fucking Hassan? Anyway, I'll end you. If the guy's about to speak, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just sort of stop My reputation say, no, proceeds. We, we need to keep him alive for questioning or something. I don't know. He's just, standing I'm, over the other guard's okay. dead body at this okay. point with the so bloody he's knife. So gonna shoot. Okay, so I just, I'm just gonna have to assist and do this guy. You're gonna attack him? Alright, dexterity plus brawl. Okay. And uh, what is your strength plus body crafts? Five. All right. So um, you kind of get a hold of his shoulder, and you, as he's trying to shake you off, you do manage to partially dislocate it. Um, so he does yell out in pain, but he doesn't seem disabled in any way. But he doesn't shoot the gun. Um, no, he is going to do that once his turn comes up. <laughs> well, um, I was trying to get him so he couldn't or shoot wildly or whatever, make it more difficult. Yeah. I didn't want him to shoot his own. Yeah. Like I mean, he's going to shoot. I don't know if he's going to hit him. Oh, okay. Um, it is Joseph's turn. You have finished with your guard downstairs. Well, in that case, uh, do I hear anyone else that might be running towards the area? 
Not really. It seems like uh, you do hear that there seems to be the sounds of dogs uh, barking outside like they've been riled up. Did we more kill dog. the dogs? You killed a bunch of dogs. You didn't kill all the dogs. Kill all of the dogs. Yeah, they got more dogs. You haven't yeah. killed all the dogs. Yet. Still dogs in the kennel. Yes. <laughs> um, we'll fix I want to do my teammates need my help, or should I go murder them? I mean, take care yes, of the dogs. So you should probably, well, uh, yes, your teammates need your help. All right. Well, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> a little feeling deep inside says Lesia needs my help, so. All right. I'll rush to the aid. Outside in the car, Jean, you do start to hear the dogs. With your aspects, you can hear, like, the dogs barking, and they're riled up. Like, it does seem like something is going on inside. Uh, can I use Auspex to see? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, is with Auspex, you can, can kind of, you can hear it. Also. You're too far away for any Orid to, to be distinguished. Okay. Huh. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. did, I, did I, uh, move my car away at all to look less conspicuous? Um, you want to move the car further away? Well, what I'm saying is that might be my cue, actually, to come... Come up. Come up. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. that. Yeah, so I'll draw nearer. Alright, you get into position. You're getting ready to keep in the car. <laughs> yeah, I have the doors unlocked, ready to open them. I'll, 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 like, so I'll position myself that, you know, the guest doors or whatever are facing towards you guys. Alright. I'll, I'll open them for you when I see you sprinting towards me. Alright. He's ready. He's got his hand on the handle of the sliding door. He's ready to <laughs> open it and throw it open. open. Alright. Yeah. The guard fires on Hassan. Alright, and he does hit. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I mean, he got two tens. He's gonna hit. <laughs> this guy was adamant. Alright. Is this the third guard now? Yeah, this is the guy that was at the front This desk. is the guy at the front door. There's, a, there's probably four more... Um, Okay. I want, like, the fourth one to come running and just see three corpses before him and me standing over them, smiling at him. So what is your bullet soak? Three. The way you said that makes me think that's not high enough. Uh, actually, uh, you only take one point of normal damage. Uh, oh, never mind these guys seem to be aiming at your chest, which is why it's not, it's bashing damage, which you have automatically anyway, so... Oh, wonderful. So, in this case... They are not aware. They are not aware, <laughs> aware that you're listening at your head. Alright. And it this is... is quite good. Hassan's turn. Right then. Uh, you know what? Let's buff my strength one final time. Okay. And go after this guy now. So, dex plus melee. Eight. Just overhead stab into his shoulder. Alright. Pull it down across his chest. Hopefully. <laughs> this may also be a worthy opponent. <laughs> you are my fourth worthy opponent this day. <laughs> Alright, damage pool. Now it's six. Alright. It's getting stronger and stronger every card that comes up. <laughs> I become only more powerful. I mean, there's plenty of blood at the ground before me, so I can just, like, soak up all of it, everything behind afterwards. Alright. So as you try and hit him in the shoulder, you kind of get off, and it seems to get stuck in his Kevlar armor. It doesn't really do anything to him. Really? It's distressing how worthy of an opponent he is. <laughs> is my knife actually stuck in him, or do I still... Um, you're able to get it out, but you don't do any damage. You have to just wow. pull it out. If I aim for the head, his armor will protect him, right? Um, yes. It makes your difficulty roll higher, but um, he won't get any chance to soak. Alright, then. And it that is... That might be worth trying. Uh, Lizia's turn. Alright, so is anybody coming out of the bedrooms? Uh, no. Okay. That's... You do see, however, the room that the people were laughing and talking in. Uh, people have started to come through that. There's actually another door in the security room uh, behind Hassan. Some of them start to come out of that, and then some of them start to come out of the room in the hallway. They're kind of coming out both. But the guy... 
that Hassan is uh, stabbing is closest to me. Right? Yes, he is between you and Hassan. Okay. So, and there's people coming out of the door behind Hassan? Uh, yes. Okay. So I'm going to yell at Hassan that there's people behind him mm -hmm. to let him know. I'm going to grab on to this guy next to me and just unleash vicissitude on him to turn him into a pile of goo. All right. Dexterity plus brawl. Um, so that's four. Yeah, you hit. And strength plus uh, body crafts? Five. Okay. All right. All right, so he's messed up. Uh, like, bones start spurting out of his skin. Um, he seems to be severely hampered. <laughs> Inconvenienced, you might say. All right. <laughs> and it is Joseph's turn. Uh, you have come out into the foyer and up the stairs. You can see that Hassan and Lysia are fighting a security guard, and you can hear shouts of more security guards coming. How many more? Um, you're not sure. You just hear shouting from upstairs. So, a number. Alright, well. I'll wait by the door. They're not coming from the first floor. They're coming up on the second floor. Wait, so... So there's so no one... So you're hearing shouts from the second floor. Like yeah. More security you can coming. see you can see the fight happening, and you can hear that there will be more people coming into the fight somewhere upstairs. Let's see. Should I head them off at the pass? Hmm. I was gonna say you 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 need to come upstairs and help us. <laughs> That's where they're coming. There's nobody down on the. Front oh, I'm downstairs. Yes, downstairs. you're still downstairs. So oh. You need to run on up there and and help us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'll run up there and help y'all. All right. Um. So you're gonna attack this guy. Uh. Yes. All right. Give me a dexterity plus brawl then. That would be seven. All right, that'll hit. And what is your uh, strength? That'll be five, and also two potents. All right. Right. Um, so you basically uh, just grab this guy, just choke slam him to the ground, and he is just unconscious. Um, and you know what? Just for fun, give me a self control roll. Because <laughs> I'm hot in the air now. Huh? You can smell it. Self control? Oh, yeah, three. Is it three? Yeah, all right. Still three for now. Yeah, you still may have to get a hold of yourself, but really, you want to let loose on these guys. I mean, I'm so especially, in control of myself. Especially because you've also seen that Hassan has actually carved up a guy with his knife. He's definitely dead. Now. Actually, there are two guys well, carved up with his two, knife. Didn't I? Yeah, there's two yeah. yeah. dead guys here. There's blood all over the floor. This has been a productive day. You know. Ah, so it's okay to kill people. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So Only when necessary. Anyway. Alrighty. Alright. So, uh, next up are the guards. They uh, come out and they start opening fire on you guys. Uh, on They focus fire. Two of them are shooting on Hassan. And they hit. One of them hits. The other one... 
also hits. Why are they all shooting at me? Come on. Well, the, the first two, of, two of them are. They're the ones who have come into the room with, yeah, so they can only see you. Oh, there are more than those two? Oh, yeah. yeah. There are way more. No, there are. Yeah, that's what Oh. And your bullet soap was three. And I assume I get the Kevlar yep. uh, vest. Yeah. If I put, because I'm wearing the guy's clothes. I wasn't factoring that in for your dexterity penalties. I wasn't either. It was only after I thought, oh my god, they might shoot at me. I'm hoping they shoot at Joe. All right. Um, and then, uh, okay. So you take another point of damage. All right. I will spend a blood. And then the next oh. two guys, they start shooting at Joseph, since you still look like a guard. They're not sure exactly what you're doing, but they know Joseph's a problem. That's what I figured I have at least one turn where I could maximize that. Um, and they do hit Joseph. Yeah, both hit Joseph. All right, and what is your bullet soak? Um, let me check. Stamina, unfortunately, right? Yep, yeah, stamina. Which is like two. Well, in that case, it's two. Hmm. The weakness in this character. All right, you take one point of damage. All right. And uh, it is Hassan's turn. All right, should we maybe think about running away? Really need this piece of art. All right, I guess we're running away then. I'll buff my stamina now. You, uh, it would be a failure, and we would be. One thing away. I will say is that because you were smashing up the security room before you got there, you did basically disable the alarm system before uh, they got to, to say, you. Everything was shut down before, so there's no. There's no all right, so that's not going to be that's not going to be in like police reinforcements unless they call for them, right? Yeah, right. they could still call for them with like the regular telephone. Okay. All right. But they're all engaged in combat with us right now. Nobody's on the line. Mm -hmm. The old lady is. <laughs> <laughs> but being, Calls to nine one one. But being the mafia, they're probably not going to call the police right away. Right. Uh, yeah, I'll go to attack then. Okay. Which one? Well, I'll, attack, I'll attack the guy who successfully hit me. Okay. Uh, I'll attack the worthy opponent. <laughs> the, you are the third worthy <laughs> opponent. Uh, dexterity <laughs> plus melee. It is... Well, it's seven, though, because I have a minus one penalty. All right. Okay. And your damage? Damage is not uh, reduced by this, right? By penalties. Um, I think... I think damage is, but your soaking rolls are not. Really, damage is affected? Damage is affected, I think. Yeah. I don't see how that, may I don't see how that makes sense. It's because you're weaker, you're hurting. You can't put as much strength behind your blows. Whatever is. Alright, well, in that case, my damage is five. Alright. Like, if you were using a gun, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, gun, it wouldn't have mattered. But if it's a, if it's a body thing. All right, and this guy, a worthy opponent. Take some damage. All right, and it is Lysia's turn. All right, so where am I at in relation? You're on the second floor balcony. You can see the two guys that have come out in front of you between you and Hassan. You're right next to Joseph, and then to your left, basically, is the hallway that two more guys are coming down. They're shooting at Joseph. Joseph. So can I use their confusion to get around near them? You want to head towards them and then... Yeah, you could head towards them. Yeah, so that's... Can I do 
do that and attack in one turn, or is, yeah. I, is it going to be my movement turn? Um, if you want to try and get around behind them subtly, that would take up your entire turn. If you want to just go up to them and attack them, you can do that all in one turn. Well, my plan was to act like, like, like I don't know where these guys came and be like, we're going to get in a group. Yeah, if you do that, then that's going to take up your whole turn. Because um, if I go up and I just attack one of them, the other one's going to go pow. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to have to do the whole, we need to be in a group for these guys, and then foom on them. All right. This is what I'm going to have to do. Okay. And just hope you guys can take another bullet. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what would be really cool, though? What would be really cool? If you let Joseph take you as a quote-unquote hostage, so they'll stop shooting, oh. and then you start shooting them. <laughs> you're not you're less of a hostage at that point. Um, <laughs> it was just a thought. No, that could be that could work too. Although I'm not quite sure. Well, that would get him to stop shooting. But how are we going to? And then you'd have to like throw me into one of them so that I could just vicissitude the crap out of him. Could you do that? And then I could you, do that. And then you take the other one? Like, that's how we can get those two out of there? That could work. So, yeah, if you want to do that. If you want to give Let's me a do little, it. If you want to give me a little signal to, to, like, leave myself open so you can grab me. Yeah. Let's do that. Zach's left the room, so... We'll just oh, okay. We'll ah. wait while until. So, Hassan, you're just on your own. I, I'm assuming you can handle it, though. You're an assassin. Yeah, but. You're an honorable warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what are you guys doing? Alright, so that's our plan. So, Joseph is going to take me as a hostage, and I'm going to be like, whoa, whoa, wait, and then our plan All right. is. He will shove me into one of them, and I'll vicissitude him once I, like, land on him. And then he'll jump and take the other guy. Alright, give me a manipulation plus a uh, subterfuge. Um, that's four. Alright. So you start making a scene, uh, trying to get held hostage here. Um, and then it is Joseph's turn. And I throw, uh, I throw her into one of the guards. Alright. Uh, and I go and I attack the other guard. Alright. So, uh, give me, uh, a dexterity plus brawl, both of you. Okay, and I spent a blood point and increased my dexterity, so it will be... Minus seven. Because I have to do a penalty now for the what's my penalty? Yes, your penalty is one. Is one? Okay, so it'll be the same. It'll be four. Okay. Wait, do I have a penalty? Um, you're not wearing armor. I don't think. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it's seven. Okay. Possibly you're not. How wounded are you? Do you have a wound penalty yet? Uh, I took one point of damage, and oh, yeah. according to this, is that it says yeah. minus zero, so... Yeah. yeah, you're good. All right, so both of you hit. Uh, Mary, give me your strength plus body crafts. Um, five. There's no penalty on that, is there? No. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> no wound penalty. <laughs> I'm about to say, we, I just went over this. All right, so you attack one, um, and then Joseph, your strength. Uh, five and two potents. Two potents, that's right. All right. Alright. So you guys are both engaged with guards at this point. Uh, and it is their turn, and they're gonna try and shoot at each of you. 
So, Lizia first. He shoots and misses. And then, Joseph. He shoots and misses. And then, <laughs> ha Hassan's got two guys on him. Yeah, yeah that's fine. One of them being worthy. So far. Uh, you, you can stop being worthy now, by the way. <laughs> Alright, and both of them hit you. Oh no. <laughs> now they're both worthy. <laughs> please stop. Me. Please don't be worthy anymore. Alright. So the unworthy one is just a grazing blow. It doesn't do any damage, but give me a bullet soak for the worthy one. Okay. The, the unworthy one, whatever. It's free. It's four now, actually. All right. So you take uh, one point of damage. God damn it. I've taken four points so far. It's getting bad. <laughs> You're so worthy. <laughs> it's getting bad. All right. So... Right. Uh, at minus four, do you, how much of a penalty do we have there? I think it's minus two. Yeah, it is a minus two. Okay. Well, let's hurry up and kill the worthy one then, hopefully. All right, and it is Hassan's turn. Worthy guy? Yeah. So, dexterity plus melee? Just cut him down across the chest. It's eight, right? So, uh, no, it's, it's six now. now. It's All six right. now. All right. Oh man, this guy is very worthy. <laughs> Did he dodge it? <laughs> I actually rolled the wrong number of dice, so I'll give you a reroll on that one. Okay, thank god. I'm like, I could just roll one more, but I'm looking at all the ones, and I'm like, nah, I'll just do a complete reroll. I appreciate that. <laughs> He's so worthy. Alright, and uh, your damage pool. My damage, uh, it is now. Let's see. Spend a plot point, so it should be, hang on, four, mm -hmm. oh, five, five, I'm, I'm dumb, five. All right. Six, seven. <laughs> Eight. Well, you should still have plenty of willpower, right? It's not like something happened recently that, oh. I have two willpower. I got plenty of willpower. Use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me um, some. You managed to get in. Uh, oh wait, I haven't rolled his soak yet. No, yeah, the worthy guy. He just uh, absorbs the next blow. It doesn't really do anything to him. God damn it! <laughs> Help! Hassan <laughs> <laughs> just starts screaming from out from the other room. All right. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just. He's worthy. I'm, I'm right. pleased by this. It's, it's good. <laughs> it's fair. All right, and it is Lizia's <laughs> turn. Oh my goodness. All right, so is the guy that I'm fighting, is he incapacitated? No. No, he's not. So I'm, obviously I'm... All right, dex plus raw. That's five or four. Four and then five. All right. You do hit. I am doing just incapacitation. All right. Um, well, the damage you do is lethal, so. Oh. Since I'm yeah, you don't, you're not really doing careful. Let's make sure he's fine. You're basically just grabbing his bones and ripping them through his skin, which is hard to do non-lethally. <laughs> um, it's also hard to do damage. Uh. Yes, he actually resists it. Mm. He throws you off. And it is Joseph's turn. Um, I'm on top of this guy, right? Yes, pretty much. Alright, um, as I try to snap his neck, can I look into his eyes and try to dominate him into not resisting? Um, you can do that, yeah. Give me a manipulation plus leadership. Alright, that'll be six. Um, you could also do manipulation plus intimidation if you wanted, if that is higher for you. Nope. All right. <laughs> so, however you phrase it, it takes more than one word. Yeah. 
you uh, try and dominate him, and he does uh, go a little bit slack. He does stop fighting you. Um, it does take your turn to uh, dominate him, um, but he is effectively out of the fight at this point. All right, that's that's one down. So, you no, know, in the future, I can help one of y'all out. <laughs> All right. There is someone who maybe needs it. <laughs> yeah, Lysia. Oh, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> not now. Not now. <laughs> Son's still sitting out the car. Jean. Yeah, Jean. Um. After Joseph, it's the guards' turns. So, the dominate guy is just going to be dominated. The other guy is going to shoot Lysia. And does no damage. He is not worthy. He is not worthy. <laughs> Hassan here is called out. <laughs> What an unworthy opponent! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so one of them hits you. The other one hits you. Why are they so good at hitting me? Oh my god. Am I dead? <laughs> Maybe. Alright. So one of them does no damage, but the worthy one, uh, give me a bullet soak. Okay. Uh, that <laughs> is... Four? And for some reason I feel really inclined to spend a willpower point. Are you gonna do it? I am. Alright. You take no damage. Okay, good. <laughs> And I figured it was. I figured it was either really good or really bad. Uh, he had five successes out of five dice. Okay, nice. All I right. take that shit. And it is Hassan's turn. Okay, can I please kill this guy? Uh, we'll see. It's six, right? The roll is six. Yeah. All right. All right. You do hit successfully. What's your damage pool? Uh. Let's see. Five, yeah, five. Okay. All right. Uh, he looks badly wounded, but still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna need to embrace this guy afterwards. It's like a Kumba. <laughs> um, it is back around to Lysia's turn. Alrighty. Well, where am I at? I was thrown. You are still wrestling with this one oh. guard. Uh, Joseph just dominated his guard, and he's standing right beside you. Joseph is? Joseph is, yes. Can I wrestle the guy into Joseph so Joseph will, like, choke him out? Um, you could try and hand him over to Joseph, yeah. Because apparently I can't vicissitude. Alright. Give me a uh, strength plus brawl. That's still four. Alright. And... All right. Yes, you managed to work him over uh, and hand him over to Joseph. Uh, Joseph, it's your turn if you want to accept the human being offered to you. Uh, yes. Fighting your poor Lysia, who now looks like a man, but, you know. Yeah, you're able to easily get a hold on him and basically just choke him out again with, again, the, the five strength and the two potents. Now does he just break his neck? He was fighting with Are you going to just snap his Lysia. neck? Well, you know, um, he was trying to... He was trying to, you know, attack woman, Lysia, so... Who's now a man, but it's fine. <laughs> it's all fine in your head. Yeah, so his his neck gotta get snapped. Alright. So yeah, you start crumpling this guy. 
And we are going to switch back over to the guards. Um, and they're going to be shooting at Hassan, who is still engaged. <laughs> we should probably go help him. <laughs> you probably should, yeah. Actually. I think I that know, might be a good... I been able to vicissitude. The unworthy one misses. What a shock. The worthy Thank one you. hits. Oh, what a shock. A oh, no. How, how fucking bad must the unworthy guy feel right now? Yeah. Just be completely ignoring this, doing <laughs> absolutely nothing. A uh, bullet soak. Uh, four. Alright. You take one damage. <laughs> a death by inches. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm, that's minus five now. I believe that's a pretty big penalty, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty big. How big is the penalty at minus five? It's minus five. Okay, I'm going to have to try and heal that. All right. Stamina. Is it current stamina or, no, wait. or regular stamina? No, uh, Five damage. That's still negative two. Never mind. Okay, oh, never mind off. then. The Just next go level. Go fuck, go fuck up that guy. <laughs> the next fuck level. The <laughs> you can stop being Murphy now. You have earned your rest. My rest. You have earned my respect. <laughs> Jab my knife into him. All right. And you do hit, barely. Okay, that's all I need. <laughs> damage five. Oh, sorry, damage is only... Yeah, damage is five. Damage is five. Damage is five. Got it. Uh, it's a glancing blow. You don't do any damage to him. Are you serious? <laughs> I am serious. And it's Lizio's turn. All right, so I'll run over him. Alright, so as you round the corner, you can see that he's being attacked by two guards. He seems badly wounded. One of the guards is able and basically unharmed, and is just sitting back shooting him, and the other one, he seems to have well in hand, because he's pretty messed up. Yeah, okay, so I'll go for the one that, that is just... The uninjured guy? Yeah, yeah. the uninjured guy that's shooting. Okay. <laughs> wow. Thanks. I, 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 From your perspective, not... it's the right choice. I know, I know. Okay. Give me a dexterity plus brawl. Out of character, though, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to take this from you. This is your victory over <laughs> over guard games room four. <laughs> Truly, my most worthy adversary. <laughs> Apparently, it is. All right. So, what was your dex plus brawl? Oh, mine. Uh, it's four. Sorry, I thought we were going again. All right, you hit. And strength plus body crafts. Is five. All right. All right. Okay. This guy uh, seems pretty badly injured by your attack. His arms are akimbo. Yeah, something like that. And it's Joseph's turn. All right. Well. I'm going to uh, rush in, um, and I see the two two dudes. Um, yes, you're able to um, get in there, and you can see that they are each engaged with someone. There's Lizia and Hassan both fighting someone. The one Lizia's fighting looks less badly hurt than the other one. I see. Hmm. Well, in that case... Does does Lysia look like she got a she got a handle on the one she's fighting? Lysia's always happy for your help. Um, uh, actually, that's this is a good point. What's your vinc? Uh, do you have a higher vinculum rating to one of them as opposed to the other? That's a good question. Let me go see. <laughs> yeah, I'm helping Lysia. <laughs> Give me a dexterity plus brawl. That'll be seven. <laughs> I'll save you! Runs right past his son, knocks him out of the way. <laughs> another point of damage. Just take it. Oh. In his haste. Oh, yeah, you hit. And then it's five plus two uh, potents. Yep.
All right. Uh, I'm to put my pencil. There it is. So you run up and choke slam this guy, and he's still conscious, but he seems uh, pretty messed up at this point. Excellent. He's just kind of hanging limp in your uh, arms. Are you okay, Alicia? I thank you, Joseph. You're welcome. My pleasure. And it is the guard's turns. Um, the other guard is just, he's too he's actually too injured. He has no dice pool for his gun, so he cannot do anything. Um, he just glares at you. The other guy does still have, the guy fighting Hassan does still have the strength to shoot. Oh. And he hits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really impressed. I really want to kill this guy. Uh, it has to be my kill now. Right. I'm actually going to be a little disappointed if either of you get to kill him. So, what's your bullet soak? Four. All right. You absorb all the damage. Okay, kill him. Of <laughs> that, uh, six for your Knife. attack. Six, grab it both hands, step forward, stab it straight into his chest. Down into the floor. You hit? <laughs> we'll see about this. What's your damage pool? <laughs> Damage is five. Alright. So I'm damage. just saying the intended strategy here. Alright, the intended strat, got it. Yeah. But you slip on the blood and... Step yourself. Yeah. Alright, you do kill him. In the last okay. turn, when he had two hit points left, uh, you did five, which is more than you did to anyone the entire fight. <laughs> <laughs> a worthy send off for a worthy adversary. Now, I will eat, fucking devour the blood of everyone around here except that guy. He has earned it. All right, so you're going to just start gorging yourself on Vitae? So, yeah, so I can heal up. All right, so what are the other uh, two of you doing? Um, well, I guess we get the art now, so, uh, I'm gonna head back down with the duffel bag and uh, we, start getting some... I, I can't bag. make this guy, no, he's, he's a dead now, so I can't make him into my child, can I? Uh, no, you fully killed him. Okay, so. good, he, he deserves that. <laughs> That's an act of respect. So, anyway, I'll start, um, trying to find the zen... Uh, so you're gonna head down to the art room? Head down to the art room. Okay, Joseph, what are you doing? I'll go help Alicia with, uh... There is still an old lady, but, uh... Oh, and there's yeah! At least, there's at least two other people, because someone was having sex in another room. Oh, that's true. Was that the old well, lady? Well, I'm gonna go check on the people having sex. I was gonna say, yeah, okay, I forgot about that. Yeah, no, that's where I'll, I'll motion to Joseph and we'll head down to that bedroom. To All right. To make sure that there are no witnesses. So you guys kick open the door, and you can see that this is, uh, the lights are on. It seems like someone was in here. You can see the beds are all ruffled up, like someone was definitely having sex in here. Um, but there's no one in here kind of right now, although you can see there is in one wall, like, a panic room. Okay. So it's right. got heavy metal doors so that's blocking it. where the occupants went. Mm-hmm. Is there, like, a little, uh, number pad or something to get in? Um, it does, uh, look like it's, um... So, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think we You don't really, here. yeah, it doesn't look, really look like there's any way to open it uh, from this side, although you could, with your strength, try and just pull it open. Um, we gotta assume that when they went in there, they called the police... We don't really have time to be breaking into a panic room. It's going to be difficult. I say we go down there, we try and we get as much art as we can and get out of here. All right. That's, that's, well, that's well, what if they see in our face? We might have to kill them. Um, um, the cameras have been have been disabled. We know that. So they probably, I'm going to say... What if they we want to kill him? <laughs> they may want to, but we need to get out of here. I think the police might be coming. Because Hassan got the cameras down. Um, nope. So okay. I, I, don't, I don't think that they they necessarily... Well, I know they didn't see my face because I look like the freaking uh, yeah, security but guard. 
Here's the thing. Myself. Can you really go into this old woman's house without killing the old woman? No. <laughs> That's so, so specific. I, think, <laughs> I really think that we need to just... Something. I don't think we have time. What would John want you to do? Uh, well, he wants finish to off the, the old, old woman. woman. I yeah, that, but I really don't think we have the time, so that's. Well, you right. know, you know what? If uh, if we leave and you know she tries to tell the police what we look like, we can just come back and kill her later. Yeah, all right. That's true. And we'll and we'll kill all the police. Her guards later. will be gone by yeah, then. Exactly. So, <laughs> all right. So you guys are heading back into the art room. Yeah. Um. So I will roll for about as much blood as you can get, uh, Hassan. I'll roll again because that was unfair. <laughs> oh no! I, I need a good. I need a good number. All right, there we go. Uh, you can recover uh, eight blood points off of all the bodies you've made. Okay, that's enough to go. Uh, I've taken five blood five blood points, so that's five spent on that. And net of three. Back to four. All right. Okay, okay. that's good. So. I'll, I'll do a little, like, bow of respect towards the worthy <laughs> opponent. Guard number four, I believe you call <laughs> yes. him. Games room. Games guard. room guard number four. Games room guard number four. Yeah, write it down, because it's going to, you know, right. you're going to need to carve it in. And you room. see, uh, and you see the other two coming out of the, the back bedroom. I'm you. adding him to my vinculum at ten. All right. So, you, are you going to join them heading down to the art room? What are you going to do? So, yeah. So, I'll let you know um, they're in a panic room. There's no way we can. We should probably get out of here. The police have probably been notified. So, unless you want to go try and break into the panic room, Lizzie is going to try and get the piece of art that we were sent here to get. Yeah, let's get that and then get out. All right. So you guys make it into the art room. Give me a intelligence plus academics to find the painting you're looking for. Okay, that's just going to be three. And all three of you can make the roll. Two. <laughs> there was a reason we should have brought the other guy. Yep, yeah, we should have. And we may need to, ha, one other need guy. to run out and grab him and be like, oh, I need to find this piece of art. Well, why don't you just like send, why don't you, we have uh, mobile phones, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can, like, send me pictures or send me a video feed. Yeah, so... <laughs> You're gonna yeah. FaceTime? <laughs> we'll, we'll FaceTime. I mean, you could. Which one? Yeah. All right. So Is give that... me uh, your uh, intelligence plus academics, then. Wait. Oh, first boy, off, useful. let's respond... Well, okay, give me the number, but we'll respond to the call when it happens. <laughs> we'll get the mechanics out of the way. Okay, so my roll is five. All right. All right, now handle this call. Uh, Lysia is uh, phoning you. So, yeah, so your phone is ringing. All right, so I'll answer. Hey, Lysia, what's up? Yeah, I heard the dogs barking earlier. Is everything okay? <laughs> anyway, um, so I'll be like, okay, so we're, we're in the art room. We need to know which one is the, uh, what's his name? Zhu. Is the Zhu. Zhu. And so I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Lisa, so that happens in character. Like, Lisa's like, oh, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. his dog, like, you. So you start uh, scanning these paintings. Um, and you've never obviously seen the painting itself. But um, you know that it's Taoist art. And none of this stuff is matching the style um, that this guy would have used. All right. So keep scanning. It's not, it doesn't seem it's, to be here. Yeah, they go through the entire gallery and it's not one of them. Okay. okay. Well, uh, I'm afraid it's not there. Shit. I don't think it's there. So. Is it saying that hard enough that I can hear it? Yeah, I assume you guys are on. Speaker. Are you serious? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. So, um. We gotta right. go kill this. I mean, find this old lady. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, so yeah. So I agree. I'm, so I'm. So I'm I'm like clicking off the camera now, All right. but I still want to be talking to him. So, like, so was, was that even on minute. purpose or was that genuinely? <laughs> it was a genuine slip up. <laughs> That's great. So, anyway, That's I'll, look, great. I'll look worriedly at Joseph and I'll be like, well, we probably should check the other bedrooms to see, make sure it's not in there. And so I will start to head back upstairs to the library. And All right. Some things. So you guys are gonna check through those. Yeah. All right. 
So, uh, which bedrooms is everyone going into? Well, are you guys splitting up, or are you guys all going to check the same room together? I don't care if we split up. At this point, I'm assuming the guard, Lysia, in character, is assuming the guards are taken care of, and the old woman is in the panic room, so she doesn't sense any other mm -hmm. major threat. Other than the... The time constraint that may be on you. Yes. So... All right, so you're just going into the first bedroom you yeah. see. Uh, so, Hassan, where are you heading to? I think it's something that's same. Just go where I think it might be. Uh, and Joseph? Oh, well, I'm going into to question the, room to the old woman. woman. <laughs> yeah, I'm Probably going to question her. Yeah. You right. know, hey, how much, can I, how much can I beef my strength up to? Um, for a scene, you can beef it up to six, and it'll stay that way for the, the rest of this encounter. Um, but you can bump it up for the space of three turns, enough to do kind of a couple of things. Um, you can go all the way up to ten if you need to. Oh shit, not okay. well, If you buff it up uh, to six, does it stay for the scene, or not just the turn? It stays all the way for the scene, yes. Oh, well, in that case, I have a bunch more blood, actually. Alright. <laughs> Time to start spending. I said, I'll, I'll, uh, I'm buffing up to ten, and you know, I'll use a, I'll, I'll use a little power point, too. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I, I don't notice. I, I'm not going to even bother to roll that. You rip this door open like tissue paper. Um, and there is a terrified looking young man on the other side <laughs> as you are coming through like a horror movie monster. It looks like, you remember that scene in like, I think it's Friday the 13th Part 3 where Jason just body slams himself through a door and it just shatters. That's basically what this is. Nice. Uh, this crash. Um, the old woman has pulled out a heavy revolver, points it directly at your head, and fires. So, she has... Let me look up her combat stats. Is she really an old woman? Yes, she is really an old woman. Just, so she's like 80-some-odd years old. Yes, this she's young man in... Was, uh... Yeah. Oh, okay. Of course, I don't know that yet because I haven't gotten into the panic room, but... Hmm. Um, Good for her. So she... Yeah, she takes direct aim at your head and fires, and... <laughs> your head explodes. And... Well, we don't know that yet. All right. Okay, and what is your bullet soak? Uh, <laughs> two. Right. Two. Hey, can I can I use a will PowerPoint? Yes, you can. All right, I will. All right, you take three points of damage. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. She's, She's worthy. <laughs> <laughs> you hear Hassan come down the hall. Well, Hassan hasn't seen this. But yeah, just pops, he he pops, uh, drops off his gate. She is you worthy. Guys, you guys hear? Can I, just, uh, uh, mm -hmm. can I just say we were supposed to be spending experience points halfway through this session? Uh, this has gone on longer than this I thought has gone it would. On forever. This yeah, that combat scene probably wasn't quite didn't go quite as planned, did it? I was thinking that uh, we would get this done in the in the last session. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what a fool you no, are! You know, oh, nice. Yeah, you didn't you didn't you didn't so, count. On the word of your opponent, games from Garden You guys uh, hear the sound that sounds like a hand cannon goes off uh, from where uh, Joseph so went to I'm see the old woman. To see what the hell well, first off, give me a perception plus investigation to see what you found in your room before okay. you got there, um, that's, before that happened. Um, uh, that's four. All right. All right, I'll look up what's in this guy's room. So you were looking around, um, and you find a closet which has a small safe inside, but it's closed. Oh, it's not big enough for a picture. Um, a small picture, maybe. Alright. Um, and then Hassan, why don't you give me a perception plus investigation? Six. The room you checked. 
So this looks like a guest bedroom. I'm obfuscated. I'm obfuscated. There is. This looks like a guest bedroom, but there is one thing you notice. There is a pull down, which uh, staircase, which leads up into a attic, presumably. All right, let's go. Jump, right. jump. And that's when you heard the gunshot. Is right after you found that. So it is uh, Joseph's turn for now that we're in combat again. All right. Um, is my strength still buff? Yes. Oh, shit. Well, in that case, uh... Takes the two people and smashes them together. <laughs> uh, well, first and foremost, um, I'm gonna commandeer that gun. Alright. Uh... <laughs> Opposed strength check. Give me, uh, well, it's ten, right? Yeah. Plus two potents. <laughs> the gun away from the old lady. Turns out she's the Methuselah vampire. And... Um, yes, you easily take it from her. Alright, now, since I uh, have a gun now, uh, I'm gonna, you know, start asking some questions. Alright. First and foremost, uh, I'm gonna ask, who is this uh, young man right here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm oddly By jealous. the way, I am just... I forgot to mention this. They are both undressed. <laughs> okay. Hey, you cheat on me. <laughs> oh, so she like a... Uh... Grabs the gun from her. Now, who's this guy over here? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't fucking... That's gross. You're old. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to know before I make my next decision... <laughs> Must know the relationship between these two. So, uh, is the stunned old woman answer? Uh, she looks at you, she spits in your face, she says, fuck you. And then, uh, Lewis kind of backs up and he says, I'm, I'm Lewis, I'm Lewis. And you can see that he is, uh, peeing in fright. You can see it clearly on account of him being undressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! See, I had planned on killing Lewis, but hmm, I kind of feel bad for him now. But he has seen my face. <laughs> I do have so, my mask on. Uh, no, yeah, you guys have masks. Yeah, we had bald claws, I thought. No, you oh, were wearing you okay. were wearing like the mask you had yeah. for the armed robbery. Yeah. yeah. Well, look at that, Lewis. Get to live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this old woman gonna die by the end of the night. Though. But. Uh, <laughs> Is terrified as you're saying this, and he says, "What do you want? I'll give you whatever you want." Mr. Fucking I, uh... Blonde over here. Oh my, oh my. Oh my uh, god. Um, I'll ask uh, specifically. Um, about... Wait, I'll, I'll just, uh, describe the, uh, art tour and ask her where it is. <laughs> Alright, all you know is that it's like a, a zen painting of some kind by a guy named Zhu. And I want to actually hear the intimidation here as, what is it exactly that you bellow to this old woman? <laughs> or uh, Lewis? Well, I wipe the, uh, the spit off my face and I look at it. I wipe it on my... On my uh, pants leg. <laughs> and I look at Lewis. I say, Lewis, you see what she just did? She's going to die by the end of the night. <laughs> now, you don't want to end up like her, no. do you? Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for some paintings. There are uh, Zen paintings by a guy named Zhu. Have you, uh, have you heard of them? Oh, my God. Are you the one who called before? <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, did I say you could ask questions? Uh, they're upstairs! <laughs> Where, exactly? The attic! Good. Is there any security system up there we no! need to worry about? Any traps? No! Okay. <laughs> traps! <laughs> Yeah, alright. 
So I uh, <laughs> I point the gun at him. I motion towards the door. I said, all right, walk. We're going upstairs. Okay. And if you make a move, I will kill you slowly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, you know, actually, like to make it. sure, I'm going to I'm gonna look at the, uh, the old lady might try some shit. I'm going to dominate <laughs> both of them. I'm, I'm going to tell them to uh, obey me. All right. Are you going to, um, <laughs> well, do you want to bother with dominating this woman or do you want to just kill her? I was going to say, you can just kill her. Uh, Lewis seems pretty helpful. Well, I am worried that if she has a safe or something that, oh, uh, to get some. Ah, this is one of those perfect opportunities, I think, to call for a self-control roll. Say that again, you cut out for me. Get, what's your self-control? Uh, three. Because this Damn, seems like Because this woman has pissed you off. Well, uh, yeah, I was going to let you off after the third one, but with the, the gunshot thing. She did shoot you in the head. You have been patient so long. They're really... When she she starts coming after you and basically starts like trying to wrestle with you and you're finally you've just had enough. You can decide how you want it to be done, but it has to be done. <laughs> well, she, I mean, if I gotta kill her, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, she attacked you. Bro. Also, I've heard the way you've been talking, and I know what your character really wants to do. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm gonna. So how do you how do you kill this old lady? She comes running at you, claws out, tries to you know. Well, I'm gonna make. Face. I'm gonna make sure she can't grab the gun, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna grab her by the neck with my offhand. I still got ten strength, right? Yeah. I'm gonna grab her by the neck with my offhand. I'm just gonna snap her neck with one hand. All right. So you just kind of grab a hold of her and just snap her neck. Uh, she dies. Osteoporosis. Instantly. It's a killer. And Lewis is like, he's wide-eyed, and is just like, oh my god, I will take you upstairs! And this is when, uh... This is when I pop around the corner. This is when you pop around, yeah. Alright, and uh, I'll go ahead and dominate Lewis. I'll say, calm down, obey me. Uh, he, he will not resist you in any way. Alright, so I come around the corner. So you see him dominating him after snapping this old woman's I neck. See, I come around the corner and see Joseph dominating a small white boy. <laughs> yes, a naked white boy. <laughs> to calm down and obey him. This is what I hear. A small naked white boy. <laughs> calm down and obey him. <laughs> I kinda, I kinda I'm trying to take a I'll hit, god damn it. <laughs> 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 Because from oh your perspective, God. he's then going to turn to you and go, we'll turn him into a woman so we can turn him out. <laughs> I am. This is what I just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I come around the corner. Lewis going to live. He going to wish he had. <laughs> Miles got a pet. I, yeah, I'll hold a pet too. <laughs> come on. Oh my God. Come on. Anyway. He's been jealous of I your head. So, so that's what I immediately um uh, in absolute so that stuns me um do i see the the broken lady body oh yeah who is also naked yeah and the door that has been ripped off broken star wars been looking for a slave since the first time he saw miles's yeah, pet you know, when we were doing character creation he was all no joseph's gonna be a good guy <laughs> <laughs> Things don't always work out. <laughs> it flew out the window. <laughs> Star Wars place to win, no, yeah. We're, we're gonna we're gonna make him a good guy. He's gonna have a human a human companion. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm the human slave. And the human slave. Alright. So All right. um, okay, so I will just sort of like um uh Joseph. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis is at this I point. Lewis is escorting him past you at this point uh, to take him upstairs, like he ordered. Okay. As you're gesturing, I, I, I'm like, "What the?" <laughs> and I will turn to follow because I don't. All right, and they meet up with you, Hassan. He takes you into that room with the pull-down staircase. Hmm. You also see the white boy. You also see the naked white boy <laughs> that is calmly leading Joseph around. <clears throat> All right, so I guess we're upstairs in the attic now. All right. Are there a lot of paintings? Do I need Jean again? 
Um, so inside you can see that there are folders and there are paintings, so yeah, you are gonna probably need Jean's help again. Okay. So you wanna I'll, call him up I'll, again? I'll FaceTime Jean again and be like, <laughs> you have a glimpse. <laughs> does he, gl as I'm panning, does he glimpse the naked white boy? <laughs> yeah, so you get called up again, Jean, and Lizia pans you around. You do see uh, a naked white boy with, uh, Joseph. And Hassan is there as well. This well, I'm obfuscated. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's... But they seem to be in an, uh, an attic. So I'm showing you paintings. Trying to find the one that we were after. It's David. BRB. Yeah. There we go. So, did you hear that? Uh, you need me to find the picture again? Yeah. Yes, and as I am panning around, you do see a naked white boy next to Joseph. Looking very <laughs> And well, a lot of blood. Yeah, and Hassan and, and Joseph are kind of covered in blood. Well, you can't see well, he's off. Well, okay. All right, so. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I will not pass comments All on right. that. <laughs> Intelligence plus academics. Five. After a little bit, looking through the files, you do find it. It's not in a frame, it's, like, kept separate oh. um, in, like, just kind of, like, rapid. Seems to be getting prepared for something. All right, well, can we just grab it? Yes. And go? Yeah. And if you want to grab any more art to sell, we could grab whatever. Is there any other? Well, I mean, it's in, there's the stuff in the art room. Yeah, so I can probably carry the on frame. <clears throat> All right. If you know, Hassan and, and Joseph want to snag a piece of art just for us to fence for money. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. The reason we came here. Yeah. <laughs> Got so good focused on the old woman. Yeah. On just killing people. And then we probably need to get out of here. Yeah. So let's hurry. So you grab the stuff, um, grab some paintings off the walls, run back out. Mm -hmm. Throw it um, in the van. Yep. You throw it, throw it in the van. Um, and, uh, Jean, give me a dexterity plus a drive. Are there sirens in the distance yet? Oh, yeah. All right. Dex plus drive is five. All right, so you peel out of this place and just try and keep, create as much distance as you can. You definitely hear uh, the sounds of sirens in the neighborhood. Um, and these guys are, like, coated in gore, and you can smell, like, the cordite from the gunfire. And... Yeah. They had a time. And the lone survivor is poor naked Lewis. Huh? Yeah, what did you do with Lewis, by the way? Oh, I'm bringing Lewis with him. Okay. Yeah, uh, Lewis is okay. Our... Oh, okay. All right. He's well. still naked. Yeah. He's still naked. <laughs> All right. And I, I, and I now have, uh, I have Kevlar armor for the group. Uh, I think at this stage, John will, once, once he's not focusing too hard on the driver and he's comfortably far away, he'll ask, What's what's the person doing here? Uh, kill him. So, so, um, oh, and one other thing I just want to clarify before you guys left: Did you do a clean sweep, killing everyone else in the house, or are some of are any people who were left unconscious going to be remaining left unconscious? Kill them. Oh, oh God! Yeah. Kill I'm them. taking executive decision on that. I kill them. Went and put the stuff in the car. All right. So if other people were killed, I was not okay. involved. Um, oh, and that also reminds me, you guys did do some ki uh, killing. You never actually killed I never anyone. killed anybody. Um, but, uh, Asan, I'm going to need a conscience roll from you. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if you didn't. Conscience is two. Yeah, you pass. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh... They were worthy of you, they, you killed them in combat. You had to. It doesn't feel great, but, you know... <laughs> it was a necessary I feel terrible for having killed such a wondrous opponent. It was, you know, he died in honorable combat. Yeah. yeah. Yes. True. <laughs> I will remember you forever, Games Room Guard Number Four. You're not, you're not a hardened person yet, although you, you know, they're worthy of, of the yeah. they deserve it. So you guys. And of course, Joseph doesn't even. Eat yeah. No. Don't worry about that, Joseph. Anyway, so you guys are back in the car <laughs> driving away. Anyway. Well, good. I'm glad that we've succeeded now that we're going back. 
I'm going to unroll the shoe. Take it looks it. nice. Does it look nice? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> everyone, I'm just imagining everyone bloodstained <laughs> looking at this panel. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty nice. Okay. Alrighty. All right. So anyway. So yeah, you roll it up. Nice set of, put it up with the other art. Our best for the, uh, for the group here. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but that's the armor. Real slow. Uh, point of blood. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Here, here Lewis. <laughs> 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 We've got some kid. Lewis seems like a good kid. I don't want. I don't want to end his How life early. Old is Lewis? Like, is he in his twenties? Um, he's in his kind of mid twenties. Okay. <laughs> so old enough that this is okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I would have felt weird you're if he was like 16. Was like, yeah, if he was an underage no. person that you're going to pimp out yeah. as a woman. <laughs> I don't know how cute is Lewis. Can Lewis. I mean, he could be a male prostitute. Lewis could be a male prostitute. You might argue he was a male yeah, prostitute. That's what he is, since he's uh, a male lady. Real quick, the guy who was unworthy for the 2FO, was that Games from Guard number 5? Or... That was Games from Guard number 3. Okay. Just making sure which one's the bitch. Yeah. Number 3. All right. Well, very good, I guess. So you guys head back to the Haven, Elias. drop off the art. Elias. Yeah, arrange for the art to be fenced to for Elias. And then, um, yeah. And, um, yeah, you guys can go to sleep uh, okay. for the day. So a couple of nights pass, and then we're also going to, uh, before you guys spend experience, do the test this of the sun dance. Yeah, we do have to do all right. So oh, after the closing of the Litany of Blood, the four of you are placed outside I'm watching. I'm decide if I've vicissituted back to Leezer or if I'm still the security guard. <laughs> are you going to stick with the security guard? Um, I don't know if I've gone back to fully Leezer. I may be a man. I may continue to be a man. Yeah, I mean, you already took his penis. Yeah. So I'll try this out. Although I probably will, I will go. Uh, um, I'm going to assume the security guard was. What was the ethnicity? I shouldn't assume anything. What was the ethnicity of the security? Uh, he was guard? French. He was French. He was specifically Corsican. Okay. Well, I'll probably go back to um, Haitian. All right. Uh, <laughs> Just a black man, gonna, but yeah, look like I'm him. Gonna be a black voodoo priest now instead of a priestess. All right. But I'm just, I'm gonna... You already you already took the penis from I someone. I did. So you know I might and I thought to myself, well, let's just see what it's like to be a man for a while. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you guys are heading out there, and uh, Bishop Yamamoto heads outside with you as well. Okay. And as it's about to begin, he uh, explains to you that uh, as your leader, he also must accept. Uh, the consequences of your failures. I respect Yamamoto for that. Right, because he is on the path of honorable accord. So he will willingly subject himself to the same ritual. <clears throat> yeah, I noticed he didn't do that when Hassan was being whipped. But yeah. That was specifically <clears throat> a training experience for him. Yeah. Alright. Alright. So, I've what happens been. is the homeless are kind of cleared out from there. Um, and you guys are there in their camp watching the sun rise. Now, you guys can run back in um, basically at any time. But whoever stays up the longest obviously gets the most honor. Um, <clears throat> waiting for you also are is uh, Abigail and... Um, the twins. And not the twins, no. but um, the uh, Grimaldi Revenant, who the <laughs> housekeeper ghoul, um, with and blankets Lewis. to put you out. And Lewis... Um, in whatever still form naked. he we is. Give him any clothes. Still naked. He's still naked. No, no, I give him some clothes. <laughs> He's like a Ferengi woman to uh, <laughs> Joseph. To Joseph. He Lewis does not deserve the honor of clothing. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so we got Lewis, we got Abigail, and we got the Revenant. Anyway, so they've got blankets ready to put you out. Put us out because we're gonna catch on fire. So. All right. So as you as the you notice the sun rising, first off, I'm going to need everyone to 
if they decide to remain out and not just immediately puss out, then I'm going... As soon as the sun bright feeds back in. Then I'm going to need courage rolls. Three. All right. Two. Four. All right. And now, did we spend experience points? Um, no, not yet. Not yet? Okay. That's going to be right after this. Okay. Anyway, minus three. All right. Okay. No one panics yet. Thank gosh. All right. And you guys have had the opportunity, just for ease, because we're going to jump ahead in time again, obviously. You can take off all of your normal womb penalties if you have any left. What? Well. Uh, what was that? I said, <laughs> you just said, I said, you just said what? Oh. Yeah, sorry, something about penalties? Yeah, if you yeah. guys had, you you never went inside, but the people who have been playing in the session up until now might be wounded. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, I've dealt with that. Did, All right. did John ever ask about what happened, in, or is there just no, you don't want to know? I don't think I want to know. Okay. All right. Did you probably killed a bunch of people. Brag about <laughs> killing the old boy? That's the other question. Well, we'll deal with that. Okay. Alright, no one turns and runs away yet. So, as uh, the initial rays come down into uh, the area, you guys are all touched by the sunlight. So first off, anyone... Does anyone want to panic at literally the first touch of sunlight and run inside? No. Okay, um, so now I'm a little... I'm answering for everyone. Yeah, I'm not allowing you to. Do we... I'll keep you here by force if I have to. In the path, Cathari, when it talks about not resisting frenzy, mm -hmm. is that a certain kind of frenzy? Because on the path of Cain, it was only a certain kind of frenzy. Is it a certain yeah, it kind Yeah, it would of be... Um, yeah, it, I don't think it in, it in, uh, includes uh, the fear frenzy. The fear frenzy. So we should re probably resist the fear frenzy. That would not be. Yeah. Like it's just the lustful frenzy sort of. A, yeah. That we should just for like, yeah. No, it's for us. It's not worth it. Okay. So yeah. So um, yes, I will, will resist the. All right. So. All right. Um, everyone, give me courage rolls then. Four, Three, two. Well, see, yes, here too, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, good, good. I just didn't hear you call anything out. It's three, well, right? I, I let, yeah. yeah. I, was, I usually wait until because he rolls yours guys and then. If I tell him beforehand, he's not going to remember. All right. It's three, right? Yes. All right. So, uh... So, at the first ton of sunlight, touch of sunlight, a couple of people start to panic. Uh, surprisingly, it's actually Joseph and, uh... And And John. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not surprising. Oh, so it's so John. So, you guys can spend willpower points, of course, to remain out there. I don't have... I only... You have one left, so I can't. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm running back inside. that from Jean, though. Like... Really? Wow. What did a pair Joseph, of bitches. Did, did you just seriously just run in? You're gonna, you're gonna degrade yourself like that in front of Lysia? I only have one willpower point left. I literally can't. No, no, Jean, no, you, no, no one Jean, respects you. you. No, but yeah, I, you're not. I you have no respect to lose. <laughs> I expected you to turn around and walk inside the minute we went out the door. Okay, the fact that you stayed out sort of impresses me, but Joseph! I, 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 use, I use my willpower, I just, I, I can't. You got, no more got willpower. zero willpower, right. huh? Alright. All right. I had to rip the door off the hinges. Well, alright, can I spend one? my last willpower point or what? Yes, you can. What's going, what happens at zero willpower? I thought you freak out anyway with zero willpower. No, it just means you're kind of, you're, just really you're basically good. exhausted. You do have, like, I think there are some effects, like it's harder to resist dominate and things like that, but you don't freak right, out. fine. I'll spend my last willpower point then. Just to be Joseph? 
Just to be, yes, I can beat Joseph, that'll look really good for me. I don't have to be in first place, I just have to not be in last. Alright, I'm spending so, my last so World Power Point to stay out. Alright. Joseph is going in and he's like, oh no. Oh, Alright, <laughs> Joseph, <laughs> you take no damage whatsoever. It doesn't even, it starts to frin, like, fry your hair, and you immediately duck down out of sight and sprint back inside in a panic. It is an unseemly display. <laughs> the moto, and everybody saw it. Everyone saw the weakness of Saint Castine. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's not you. It's fine. You have nothing. You have enough to be afraid of. It'll, it'll be all right. I'll prove myself later. It's weird that Saint Castine was known to be a coward, huh? Mm hmm. Hey, mm. <laughs> 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 chill. Defenseless old woman. All right. Well, the defense, the defenseless. She had a gun. So everyone. Yeah, he took that away from her when he killed her. She, she had a gun at some point. Everyone is shocked, right? Everyone, <laughs> everyone who remained outside, because uh, no one here has fortitude, right? Nope. All right. Then uh, you all take one point of damage. That's aggravated. Yes. All right. Yamamoto seems completely nonplussed. All right, and now, uh, so to remain out there, I'm going to need another courage roll from the people who succeeded last time, Jean, unless you are at zero, so you automatically panic and run back inside. All right. All right. So for the two of you... So three. Mine's four. All right. Uh, so... If I'm not needed for anything else, I actually have to go. All right. Early. All right. Sorry. Thanks, See ya. See you next week. Okay. See you, man. And Hassan, you also passed. So right, then. you guys each get the privilege of taking two more damage. Okay. All right. Now for a moment. It would be a pretty sick way to go, just accepting punishment to die here. <laughs> Yamamoto seems completely unaffected. He's a great man. He just evaporates in two turns. <laughs> yeah, just poof! He's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> right. So? Alright, are you guys going to remain out there? Yes. Yeah, I'll do another one. Okay. So, uh... Courage. Three. Four. Four. Yeah. Lizia passes. Hassan fails. So if you want to remain out there, you have to spend a willpower point. No, nah, I only have one left. <laughs> well, you are gonna. I keep passing. I'm this is. To I'm. I am gonna say we are uh, at the when we jump ahead and it's the end of the story. So when you spend experience, you get your willpower back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll. I'll spend it then. All right. I want the privilege to take an extra damage. I am totally full because it's really easy for me with you guys to get willpower. I've been I've been waiting to like spend the willpower here, and I keep passing the curve. I want to let you guys do it because uh, your willpower comes back, but not necessarily all of your aggravated damage. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, stay out there, prove your manliness. So <clears throat> it's in character for me to do so it. How yeah. Many, how many more points do I have here? Um, it is three more points of damage. All right, so I will crawl back in. All right. I'm down there yeah, you will die if you don't, right? <laughs> uh, so, son, you well, can't spend the waypoint point. Yeah, so I'm, I'm forced to go in. All right. Yeah. So let's just. So we see. rush back in. Well, we crawl back in. We're crippled. We're we're we're. All right. So you do see Yamamoto uh, burns like red marks start to appear on his skin. You guys were actually on fire as you ran back in, and they threw the blankets over you to put you guys out. So this guy's probably got some fortitude. He's pretty. He's pretty tough. Does he come in once the marks? Um. Appear? He. Yeah, my motor was badass. Apparently. apparently, I'll have to make a note of that. Yeah, none of the Sith Lord. You need to kill your master, because apparently he'll just thwomp you. All right. And then he stays out there, and he turns around, and he starts calmly walking back in as more marks begin to appear on him. Um, and he, as he steps inside, just the beginnings of flame are starting to spread on him, Woody hmm. quickly packs out. Wow, well, okay. Well, that was impressive. I'll crawl down to my... 
coffin. <laughs> All right. So we move ahead in time. You guys can spend your experience points, refresh your willpower, um, and the way uh, I'm going to handle the aggravated damage moving over in time, you automatically heal two points of aggravated damage. Um, when I roll for your blood pools, you guys can decide how much of it you want to have spent on healing aggravated damage, and you can spend that amount freely. You don't have to wait days for it. Mm -hmm. So you can choose to be at a low blood pool, but more healed, basically. So, uh, Sun, you are starting at max blood. All right, how much, how much blood is it to heal? It is five per aggravated wound. Okay, so I'll be starting at three blood points then, just so I can heal. <laughs> I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. I need to get rid of that Lisa, damage there. you are beginning at 11. Okay. Okay, so you probably shouldn't heal too. Joseph, you are starting at four. But fortunately, someone pitched out instantly and took no damage. Yes, excellent. And it is a irreparable stain on your honor. Oh yeah. I'll live. All right. Well, we live too, but our damage is temporary. Yours <laughs> is not. So you will um, never live that down in character. We'll just skip John's stuff, especially since we're kind of running out of time. So. uh... I just had some, like, character scenes planned, but apparently, uh, I didn't need to bother. So, during this time off, you guys have also had the opportunity to start, um, studying your paths a little bit more, a little bit more in-depth. Um, so during that time, uh, all three of you have actually been heading out to the, uh, brothel that the Widows run, since they are... Uh, Hassan, you're learning from Olivia, and um, the other two are learning from the Rose, who is the sort of the most advanced person on the path in the city. I see. The Rose is <laughs> okay. So, um, first off, we can start with, I assume, uh, I'm just going to run some character scenes and, uh, I'll run Miles' first so that, uh, if you want to leave after this, for instance, if you're sleepy, so you can do it so. Is, it, is, it is almost midnight. Yeah, All right. I, I figured. For you. So when you, uh, next come to see Olivia, um, she starts basically, uh, she, as usual, has you dress down and then sit on her bed as she explains your path to you. All right, just to be clear, when dressed down, is completely naked or...? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Please. I'm like, I can't spend blood point for a direction. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make me have sex with you. <laughs> I'm so I'm hungry. Really, I'm, re I'm, really <laughs> sad about, I'm really sad about this. <laughs> All right. So she starts explaining that... Uh, on your path, you have to be concerned not just, of course, with your own honor, but with your pack as well. She says, the way I always think of us, and the way you might find it easier to think of yourself, is as a mother duck. I see. And once she sees that you don't have a question there, <laughs> she continues on. Uh -huh. And I look at her puzzled. She says, and what, of course, is a mother duck's most pressing concern? Keeping her children safe. Exactly. See, your pack members are like little ducklings. They don't necessarily follow our path, but... They're still your responsibility. Hmm. Yes, so, of course. If the ones I, if the company I keep has no honor, then it will reflect poorly on my own. Of course. And your pack is an extension of yourself. Of course. So if you see even a little duckling, even a stupid, weak, frail, pathetic little duckling, 
it's important for you to still watch over him. Wink, wink, Let me see. <laughs> I believe I have some words for Joseph then. <laughs> Damn. I lost a lot of respect for you when that, <laughs> that when just caved. I yeah. just I just couldn't do it. Yeah. I mean, so, I, you took no damage. I was out there like I had I fucking almost died, right? <laughs> I am a little, little, little far, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> well, I killed that right. old lady and I just can't handle the sun. <laughs> the fact that you couldn't do it is why I need to have a talk with you. And then uh, after that, Olivia says, oh, and speaking of little ducklings, um, I have something for uh, Sean. I wonder if you could give it to him. And she of course. goes over to a trunk and she pulls out uh, a painting, which she hands over to you. Um, it seems to be what her own work, and it's actually quite striking. Um, it's of herself. It's a self-portrait of her laying on the bed that you're on. Um, and breastfeeding a man who looks distinctly like Jean. <laughs> <laughs> My. It is almost as beautiful as the real thing. <laughs> she giggles and then says, yes, thank he you. did turn out nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, the fun thing is she doesn't know if I'm referring to her. Right. Yeah. Well, that's what she's, that's what she, she thought you were referring to Jean. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I really hope she didn't. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> so that's uh, what I had for you. <laughs> okay, in that case, I'll head off. Uh, um, experience point. Uh, yes. Uh, what did um, what did, did we you get learn? To spend the experience points from this session. No, too? I learned about my I learned about my worthy rival. All right. So uh, you can. His name you. will never be forgotten. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to bother running about... You, everyone can just have four experience points this session. I was going to say, I am learning to be a man. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I was going to handle yours and Joseph's uh, once you guys So finished. just four points or what was it? Yeah. Four points. Okay. Uh, can I spend it immediately or is it the next time only? No, nope, that's next time. You spent the gotcha. experience points, then you got the new experience points. Alright. Alright. So, and uh, while he has been learning from Olivia, the two of you have also been attempting to learn the mysteries of Cathari. Okay. See you next week. Bye. See ya. See you, mate. All right, Star Wars, this is you and me. We're at the, or we, did we, where are we meeting at? Um, you're meeting in, the, uh, in their brothel. In their brothel. We've met these people before. The you? widows? Yeah, they're uh, Olivia's pack. Jean grew up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So is this another? And so this is kind of the first time that you've been brought uh, before her, uh, Joseph. This is kind of your first introduction to the path of Cathari. So is she also a Toreador and very beautiful? Um, she is a. I don't remember her clan. Um, she is very beautiful though. Right. Oh, hello there. I'm assuming that she and Lysia have had. Yes, you guys have been meeting up for a while now. Okay, and have we been intimate? <laughs> uh, not exactly, okay. no. I didn't know if she was like Olivia. In the, you know, she's part place. of your clan. The Zemitsi. Oh, she's a Zemitsi? Like yeah. Me. Okay, so she is not at all disturbed when I'm now in. No. Okay. A Toreador wouldn't be disturbed either. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Alright. So, she says, you wish to join the path of Cathari. I, uh, I would. What do you know of our teachings? Um, I know that one of your main tenets is doing what benefits you the most. She nods and says that is certainly a beginning to work with. Uh, are you, or were you, a Christian, Joseph? Uh, does this answer matter? 
<laughs> like, like, yeah, uh, out of character. <laughs> you have no idea. So, like, if I say yes, is there a chance you lie? You can't be path to Cathari then. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. I mean, you could have. Oh, well, you don't know. You don't uh, know. Uh, uh, sure. All right. She says, "So, you believed in God as a human. Do you still believe in God, Joseph?" I believe in myself. Hmm. Interesting. He's in a meditative position. So right. Sort of she says, but you are familiar with the Bible, obviously. How many yeah. testaments are there in the Bible? Uh, is she talking about the commandments? The old, testaments. The old and the new. Oh, oh, the uh, two. Exactly. And Lysia, how many gods are there? There is the good god and the evil god. Not exactly a coincidence that she directs towards you, Joseph. What does it all mean? There have been... The world was created by two gods. There is the world we see and the world of spirit. But these are not the same gods. One is the evil god, the god that you would associate with your Old Testament. And then there is the spiritual god, the charitable, forgiving, kind god. All right. Do you understand so far? Yes, so far, yes. You were a creature of spirit at one time, but no longer. You have been trapped within the fleshy world, the physical world created by the god of decadence and evil. As a vampire, you have been trapped in this state. You will never reincarnate. Well, hopefully never reincarnate. And you can serve your master's will. All right. The God of the Old Testament. <laughs> Lysia whispers. Lysia whispers to help you. So I'm serving the God of the Old Testament. What you are called upon to do as a Cathari is to be a dark angel of this God. You are to include to uh, to bring about corruption to. Uh, Corrupt the innocent by whatever means is at your disposal. Oh, I'm gonna corrupt Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I can do that. To encourage decadence to swim in the lap of luxury, to spare yourself no luxury whatsoever. Yes, I do believe I can do that to push your limits of pleasure to their limits through encounters of all kinds. <laughs> that one just gets silent. Yeah, just... mm. Please, go on. <laughs> he was thinking, he was thinking ah, of yeah, all the ways exactly. to push his pleasure to the limits. But for a purpose. In doing so, you are worshipping your true god. Never forget that. I will not. Alright. So, she says, I have been deciding how best you can go about learning the tenets of our path. To that end, we should start with the home. Which of your pack members would you say are the most innocent, the most self-righteous? John. <laughs> Lizzie worked so hard to hide a smile because that was really quick. <laughs> Any others? Uh, probably Hassan, but Hassan's cool. I see. Well, 
this is the first thing you must know. There are many types of purity, not necessarily those that seem obvious to you. Hassan was an excellent suggestion. His own uh, confidence in his cause is... its own means of purity. I see. So I should try to corrupt him. Anytime he fails, and with Joseph trying to make him fail, and he's watching like a hawk... I am going to fail. give oh my God, each of you tasks. We must not, of course, neglect the standard forms of innocence as well, that she directs towards you, Lysia. Mm -hmm. To that end, your task will be to seduce and corrupt Jean by any means at your disposal. They're, neither one of them are here listening to this. By, <laughs> by this, you will show... Starworth, we need to keep this between us. ...that corruption exists in all people. Except, <laughs> of course, for the perfecti, but they are not... A matter of concern. I'm glad she didn't give me Hassan because I would have had to be like, but I'm watching him to make sure he's on his path, so I can't like actively corrupt him at the same time. So oh, so I'm like, corrupting Hassan. You're trying. To then he turns. Hassan. She turns to you, Joseph. Your job will be to do the same: to seduce, corrupt Hassan by any means at your disposal. Make him obsessed with you. Leave him in such a state that he is longing. To feel your touch again. So is this only sexual corruption, or is there uh, other corruption? You can well? use whatever means of corruption you want. But I just want to verify that it's a little out of... Would not have asked that but thing. sexual corruption is obviously a good one. It's obviously a good one. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, is there any way to, uh... To dominate another player? <laughs> Yeah, you could do yeah. that. I could also go after the pet. Mm, this is... There, now you're thinking. Dominate, it doesn't technically... Because you're corrupting them, that's more like you mind-controlling them. That's yeah, not necessarily you want corrupting. Him to choose. You want him to choose yeah. the corruption. Uh, okay. You're not making him do anything he doesn't already want to do. Right. Yeah, so I'll be going after the pet. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so you're going to go after the pet. Oh, and when Hassan fails, I'll get to punish him. I'm so excited! Jeez. <laughs> okay, now, Once... neither, now both Miles and David have left Star Wars, so you realize they don't know anything about this. They have not heard We this. are going to uh, first, of course, end with a reading, and she asks if you would like to conduct the reading. Um, sure. Did she have something yep. to doubt? Pulls out a Bible for you. Yeah, I got it pulled up on the computer. All right, all right, so I will... Uh, all right. Verses 1 uh, through 8 there. in the King James Version. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Or the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. <laughs> There's a lot of fornication going on here. Upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And the angel said unto me... That's, uh... Oh, just two. No, wait, no, it still goes, yeah. Okay. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carried her, which hath the seven heads and ten horns. It was through seven? Yeah, seven heads and ten horns. Okay. 
no, and through eight. Yeah. Oh, through eight. My bad. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. That's not my revelation. So, once the reading is over, uh, the rose turns towards you, Joseph, and asks, so what do you think of all that? Um, I think that... Yeah, I'm. I'm. I am very taken aback. I'm stunned at the this beast. I think it may do the thing where it's quiet again. Uh -oh. Hmm. Yeah, I think. Give me a second. Can you say something, Stallworth? Can you hear me? Oh, there we go. We there we go. Anyway, so yes, uh, she asked what you think of that. I'm very stunned and taken aback by. Uh, by this beast. So you see, she says, that we are referenced even in your Christian Bible. I'm going to uh, let you meditate on this tract. And when we next meet, give me what uh, you has occurred to you over the course of your meditation. Will do. All right. Is this Talizia as well, or just Joseph? That was specifically for Joseph. She assumes you already get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And uh, with that, she lets you guys go. Okay. And that's pretty much the end of the session. All right, then. So you guys both get, everyone gets four experience points. And since we've been going pretty long, I'm just going to, no real fanfare, just end the stream and the recording for this week. Alrighty. So, thanks See for you. Bye. Thanks for watching.